Hey, what's up, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Resident Roleplay. This is a show where a group of friends and I get together and play homebrewed tabletop RPG set in the world of Resident Evil. I'm your host and GM, and welcome back. Hola. Hi. Hey. So we've got a... Uh, uh, what was that? Sorry. I came back at a good time. Oh, yeah, did you just <laughs> get back? <laughs> so we've got a pretty small crew today. Um, for one, uh, Mokaya was going to be in this group, but unfortunately, he got hit with some pretty bad sickness at the last minute, and it pretty much killed his voice and everything. So, unfortunately, he's going to have to sit this one out, but he did have a uh, pretty dope character for this one. So, And we are going to be cutting back to this group later on, so I'm just going to be running his character for this first session, and hopefully you'll be able to <laughs> run them later on. Yeah, try not to kill him. Yeah, well... I mean... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> but it'll be pretty easy. It'll be pretty easy. Just run away from everything. <laughs> There's a stealth mission Finally! Finally! Huh. <laughs> I, just want, I, just, I, want, I want to run away from everything. I've got 40 HP. Oh, wait, no, I have more HP. Now. I mean, Mr. Fox did say this is a, this is a grab and tag. So... And then he and then sent a bunch of assassins. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just sort of how it worked out. Yeah. Anyways, but, I'm ready to kill things from the distance. All right. So a couple more uh, points of note before we get started. There will be no episode next Saturday on December 28th. Uh, we'll be taking that week off for uh, New Year's and Christmas sort of celebration, taking some time off, and we'll return in January uh, for the next episode. So, so back yeah. in two weeks. Yeah, back in two weeks. No stream next week uh, for this. We should probably do some sort of end of year wrap up stream, though. I feel like I think we did something like that last year or the year before. But either way, I feel like we should we should do that because this is pretty much the only time you see both of us on stream together anymore. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe uh, the next time I do a gaming stream, you just tag along. Because <laughs> I still got uh, some of my runs to finish. That said, also, uh, the recap for Arc 3 of Resident Roleplay is also now on YouTube. So that just went up on Friday, so please feel free to go watch that, especially if you need to oh, catch yeah. up on the series uh, to get to this point. So I'm actually pretty excited. It's getting actually pretty pretty caught up for new people to watch the show to you know, pretty much get right into things. Yeah. So That was, that was a fun arc. Yeah, yeah. That was a long one, too. It was the, the longest in terms of episode length so far. But we'll see what this final arc does. <laughs> Alrighty. So, that's about all to uh, announce at the start. Is everybody ready to go? I am. think so. Alright. So, previously on Resident Roleplay, over the eight months following the events in Iowa, the party uh, did some experimentation on their captive tyrants, but soon discovered a lingering threat within and destroyed them after only a few months of research. Uh, Chauncey, uh, later on, was doorstopped by an investigative journalist by the name Tim Woodward, who inquired into Katara's condi condition. Uh, he also pointed out his suspicions regarding the army's involvement in Raccoon City and how he knows they took some blood samples from survivors like Katara, yet have issued no public statement on the matter one way or another. Meanwhile, the fallout of the Scorpion leaks uh, continues and results in terror save protests outside uh, Simpson University, causing the school's president to request that Katara stand down for a few months. And in that time, she begins work on some secret research and gets Mr. G to set her up with a Canadian safe house in which to house it. Uh, she also requests, uh, requested that Mr. G look into an unknown name that appeared on her parents' will one Angelina Yang. In using CIA records and his FBI contacts, Mr. G discovered that Yang was a former FBI agent involved in a top-secret program called uh, Project Reprisal, and that she currently answers to the President of the United States on behalf of another top-secret program. So in addition to all this, Mr. G talked to Mr. Q of Langley's R&D department and commissioned a stealth wingsuit 
He then returned to Rethus Hovel on the outskirts of Johannesburg, where he took over the local fight ring and assassinated uh, Ibrahim, the arms dealer, in order to take over his uh, arms dealing operation while simultaneously recruiting the Red Oracle mercenary under his command. Mr. G also took back the Hydra shotgun that he had turned over, as well as an LMG, both of which he smuggled back to Chauncey. And he also smuggled a few fighting champions back to Katara, who is in the early stages of performing research to create her own sort of experimental super soldier strike team. So, that said, that was where we last left off, and then we left off with the briefing for the operation that we are about to get into, Operation Moby Dick, which uh, Mr. Fox had given Mr. G. Uh, okay, but so there are a couple of small points of downtime that we need to get to, I think, from oh, last no, time. About, yes, but about... Um, I wrote really fast notes. What's <laughs> Forrester? That's the person we're heading for. So Forrester is the... I probably should have just posted the the transcript between episodes uh to you guys yeah, but all i have okay no no is forest of the name okay, so all i have is forest or dash uss valerian yeah and so I'm, to uh, I'm probably going to reiterate the briefing here in a little bit but uh forester was the cover name for the ship that you're going to cover its name, real okay. name is the uss valerian but to the public okay. it's known as the forester got it i'll put the so i because forester looks like a name yeah yeah so i was like who is forester okay now i know yeah, I, I, no, that makes a lot of sense if I just add the Forester. Yeah, and I think you had okay. one last point of uh, detail from I your did. last... I did, so yeah, right before... Um, because I, I asked about my small little crew, mm -hmm. um, the, the Scorpion crew, if they had uh, completed their other task, which was to to disappear the T. Veronica... Was it T. Veronica? Yeah, it was Veronica. Yeah, so to, to, to disappear the T. Veronica virus as well as themselves. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, you know, that have that whole thing where just big crossfire, everybody dies, they're now in the wind. Supposedly dead. Um, I want them now to start looking into everything they could possibly find on Walker's background. Okay, yeah, so you set them to task on that, uh, your Scorpion crew, and yeah. they start looking into some background on him. So they may have uh, an update for you later on, as well as... Yeah, well, least... you got a number of things Mr. G needs to check in on later on, because your wingsuit's ready as well. But uh, huh. you will have to, you'll have to stop by Langley for that. That said, there was also a small uh, points of downtime that I forgot to mention as well. Uh, well, there are a couple of them. There was one I wanted to do with Katara, but unfortunately we won't be able to do that today. But mm -hmm. uh, Kevin had been do doing some research over the break. And he actually did enough research to get you all a 10% discount on the PRL technology research project. Oh, snap. <laughs> so if you guys decide to go after that one, it's now 10% off due to Kevin's Which one downtime that? research. Uh, that's the one that will produce the PRL laser. That's the one that has a big like laser yeah, spread. Yeah, the one from Resident <laughs> Evil 4. <laughs> that weird Yeah, I think it's gun. the 412, the PRL 412 or something to that effect. Uh, so he got us 10% off? Yeah, 10% off on that. On that How research it project. Originally? It was originally 100,000. So now it's 90? Yep. Alright, do you guys want it? I suppose there's only yeah, one person here yeah. to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> we also um, are going into a stealth mission. We don't want a big laser beam. Yeah. <laughs> So, that being said, uh, I guess to get into the main meat of the mission. So, to reiterate the briefing, Mr. Fox met with Mr. G beforehand, and he explained, Two weeks ago, an American merchant freighter called the Forster went missing somewhere in the Pacific. The issue is, it's not a merchant freighter. The ship is actually the USS Valerian an incognito Navy vessel carrying ICBMs. The Navy has its hands tied, given the ship's deceptive presence in foreign waters. The State Department presumes it was taken by pirates, but just two days ago, Mr. Yu requested exfiltration from his deep cover in the manifold. His location? A set of coordinates in the Pacific, aboard a ship that he identifies as the USS Valerian. With Mr. Yu's limited communication capability, he couldn't say much more than that. But if the Manifold has a ship with American ICBMs, 
We can only assume large-scale plans are in motion. Mr. G, I'm deploying you to lead a team aboard the USS Valerian. Mission code name: Operation Moby Dick. Bear in mind, you are not retaking the Valerian. We'll leave that to the forthcoming military raid. This intel, or the, rather, this is an intel gathering op. Your priority is to extract Mr. Yu and his manifold data. You secure them and you get out. You run into high value targets, leave them. We can find them again later. What's important is we get that intel. After that, we can put together a list. And with that list, you can start crossing off names and dismantle the manifold one target at a time. Any other questions? Nope, let's go to work. I should also note, uh, Mr. Yu is aboard that vessel in a undercover situation among hostiles. Uh, and we don't know where exactly he is, especially with his uh, changing you know, times. He doesn't know where he might end up. And also his communication abilities are rather limited at the moment. Uh, the only clue he gave to be able to identify him was... Uh, one word, which was suit. All right, that's all. That's all we know. S U I T or yep. S U I T. Yep, S U I T. Suit. That was the only word he was able to give as a clue uh, to be able to identify him by. Suit. So. All right. That being said, Mr. G, you were assigned. Uh, Mrs. X as a partner in this mission and given a submersible which you deploy from a Navy base on the West Coast uh, in the city of San Martinez. And the submersible is kind of designed for long distance travel. So following the coordinates you had gained from Mr. Yu, you travel for quite some time and eventually come upon a massive merchant freighter in the Pacific. And the paint on Did the side go... reads the Forster, but you're privy to the ship's true identity. Mm -hmm. So we didn't go through the Atlantic, right? No, you went, you deployed from California and just went yeah. into the Pacific. Just making sure, because last time you were in a submersible. <laughs> last time you were in a submersible, you were in the Mediterranean. It's true, but we get to there from the Atlantic. <laughs> I just don't want to run into another big te giant tentacle creature. No. <laughs> No, the, the travel was rather uneventful, uh, and you get there without any issue. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've driven one of these before. It's no problem. Uh, Mr. X, or Mrs. X is with me? Yes, Mrs. Mr. X, X is... would better not be with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh... So, Mr. X. Oh, wait a minute! <laughs> Spunk! But... That's the last we saw Mr. G. <laughs> yeah, just... So yeah, Mrs. X is with you, kind of brandishing some of her blades and kind of setting oh, them on her side. Can I get a physical description of her? Um, I do not actually have a physical description of her, but oh, evidently she is wearing uh, light armor, so like, you know, a thick jacket uh, okay. and, you know, is in general kind of uh, tactical attire, I would assume, and she's armed with a handgun and a shotgun over her back, uh, a okay. striker on her back, and she's got a couple of blades uh, kind of holstered along her. Okay. So I'm, I'm just going to imagine her currently as full agent kid out. Just like. Basically, yeah. She looks like she's about to go on some here. clandestine yeah. mission. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how does Mr. G look now? You've gotten updated art for this new art. I do have an updated art. Yes, I'm full white trash. <laughs> yeah, you look I've, it. I've, I've gone full white trash. Like, I've got the. I've got the. Uh, like, the wife beater with a bulletproof vest over top. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> yeah and just wearing your tattoos on your sleeve yep yeah I got my face out now no more masks hey, look oh, about ready he, for he war is... Mr. G well yeah that's a, that's a thing about people like me I don't need to hide if somebody sees me they're not going to be able to tell and the way I see it, we may be outnumbered on that there ship. So discretion might be in our best interest. Yep. Well, 
I don't need a just like looking up and down. It's like I don't need a special shoot, special special suit, and all those that matte black to stay in the shadows. It's not going to help me any. They're either going to see me or they're not. <laughs> well, Besides, in the event that we get live, she just uh, uh, hits the action on the striker, and she's just like, "Oh, I'm geez. ready to, I'm ready to, <laughs> to rumble." And you see that uh, her striker also has a suppressor on the end for all the good it will do. So, question about suppressor suppressors in this kind of a situation. Mm. So, we can assume that uh, the suppressors will at least not alert anybody should we fire. Uh, or they if don't. We do yeah, fire... they don't. They don't break stealth uh, if you miss. Um, and so, yeah, and, and but, also, I think creatures have disadvantage on checks to notice it. Uh, if they're not involved in the the combat, so just elsewhere. Yeah, sometimes I'm, try I'm so trying to remember. Generally like, speaking, it it'll keep you. Yeah, the, it, it's it's a pretty safe bet that you won't alert the whole place if you make shots with, uh, suppressed weapons. All right. Well, I better hope you. I hope you better have some uh some sonic ammunition on that. I've got, I've got the Mar the Muramasa. Just <laughs> I've got it kitted out specifically for this for this job. I might do. She just throws it back over her shoulder. All right. Very confident. So you're piloting this vessel. So if you so choose, you could surface alongside the freighter and prepare to board. Uh. Uh. So as you as you surface, you kind of just like peek above. It's currently nighttime out, so the sky is dark. Uh, you have pretty good uh, cover to be able to to move in, and there's actually a function of this high-tech CIA submersible that allows it to sort of magnetize and sort of anchor to the ship and just follow along it as it goes, so that'll be in the same place when you come back out. <laughs> Basically, yeah, you just barnacle to the side. Oh, yeah, for <laughs> sure. Is there any... Um, I guess, like, any... Uh, like, do we see any good spots to kind of roll up on that are, that would be pretty out of the way that we could still get into the ship. I'll say uh, make a quick investigation check. And uh, it is worth noting, you've got your hook shot, right? I do. So you've got, only yeah. One of us has, only one of us has one of those? Uh, I would say the submersible comes pretty equipped with like, you know, uh, cables or rope or, or, or something so that like yeah, one of you can go up and... Oh, okay, okay. And you then know, I can just yeah, and you can just make drop a ladder going down. Yeah, basically some sort of means. So that gives you quite a few options in terms of... <laughs> In terms of your entry point. So you said investigate. Yeah, make an investigation check. And you got plenty of spare time, so I'll probably give you advantage on that. Uh, just to, just because it's like you're, you've got plenty of time in scouting to prep for this. Oh, yeah, because we, we can just do a couple of rounds. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. <laughs> it's all 20. No, yeah, so you, you do a, round, uh, a couple rounds around the USS Valerian. And again, this is a pretty sizable vessel. Uh, it's supposed to look like a merchant ship. So it's got mm -hmm. like a very long deck. Uh, and you could see that there is what looks to be a wheelhouse tower at the rear end. Um, looking along it, it uh, you see a number of possible entry points. Um, obviously, there's the deck itself that you could pretty easily get up onto. Although it's hard to see if there's anybody watching, uh, keeping careful watch over the deck from down here. Actually, I'll say with your 20 investigation check, you would notice people peering over the edge of the deck every once in a while. Uh, you get the mm -hmm. sense there's probably some sort of patrol or something up there. Uh, so, but there, but that option is available. There is the deck, uh, and uh, there is also uh, there are there are a bunch of portholes kind of along the side, um, but most of them are all shut up uh the only ones you find that are open uh is one that looks to lead to one of like the lower uh levels within the the bowels of the ship so to speak and mm -hmm. then one that's in the wheelhouse which is that big tower that's kind of at the rear end of the ship i'm kind of thinking going towards that uh the like porthole that goes at the bowels of the ship but really quick um no, I was going to ask a question, but I forgot what I was going to say. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. How about we get in through there? 
we can at least get into drop into the lower but oh i remember what i was gonna say now we can at least drop into the lower decks sounds fine by me work our way up or right. work our way down that's the thing we don't really know where mr Yu is right now do we neither that only do not so I'm thinking we head down to the I think the safest bet to get in without being seen is right there in the middle middle decks and then you can start checking everywhere inside if he's not there you can start checking the deck on by me all right do I have to use my grapple to get to the thing uh yeah so you could hook shot yeah to the uh to that open <laughs> porthole window yeah so you just <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> and then uh, just in one smooth motion, get in through the window and you're able to lower some sort of uh, rope or anything from there. The room that you enter into looks to be uh, some sort of storage closet, uh, perhaps of some sort, a pretty sizable one. Uh, it's got a number of boxes and crates around it and there is a door uh, that leads out of it and deeper into the ship. The single door? Single door. All right, I'm gonna help uh, Miss X up. All right, you help her up, and Mrs. X is pretty easily able to climb up the sides. Uh, so you now that, both find yourself. She look, as she's climbing, does she look very dexterous? Oh, she looks very dexterous. At the very least, on par with you. Good. She so, so she can keep up. Oh yeah, that's all I need to know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I were if I were to need to do some crazy maneuvering. All right, so we only got the one door. Hold on. I guess get my back. Let me go ahead and oh. get you a layout on this. Give me that door. <laughs> Stand by. Rangers! <laughs> Just kick down the door. <laughs> 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 All right. Just full break through the door and just have like this tiny little pea shooter. Miss X coming up behind me. <laughs> Wait, no, it'd be <laughs> slightly quieter. Okay. Just need to set up some other things. I was going to say, you have to f uh, f figure out which level we're on. <laughs> no, no, no. Not quite. I knew where you were at, but there were some other things I realized I need to set up on, like, the OBS end. <laughs> and, oh, and a little okay. bit on the game as well. But now we're good. All right. There you are. So, you are over in this uh, one lit up area <laughs> right here. Um, so, you have kind of... not really quick. Hold on. You have kind of entered okay, into a porthole on this side that yeah uh and that is the one door that you see leading out of here in fact let me drag mrs x out she's got temporary art for do now a, so do a barrel roll <laughs> do a barrel roll yeah so you just roll across that's, the floor and enter in here yeah that's pretty close to how i imagined what she looked like <laughs> yeah all right, I'm going to um, crouch down, and I'm going to peek under this door with my fiber wire. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, no, it, can I even with all these bulkheads? Uh, so, yeah, this is a little bit of, like, yeah, like a solid kind of bulkhead door, but there is uh, basically a little porthole inside of it, just like a, one of those circular yeah, can I, I'll, uh, I'll just, I, I windows through which through. you could view. Yeah, I won't get it. I, won't, I obviously won't be able to get my, like, thing through, but I'm going to flat myself against the door and peek over my shoulder kind of like that. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> so that you're still out of view, but you're looking through that yeah. window with the, the little fine. fiber wire. So looking through, you see a hallway. And uh, first thing that catches your eye about this hallway is, uh, well, it looks to be long and industrial, but you do notice that there is one guard out there. Looks to be some sort no. of well-armed kind of militant uh looking uh guard you know within in like tactical gear and whatnot uh who looks to be he's just to like go. walking up and down this hall all right and he's patrolling mm. make a quick uh perception check that perception check should honestly be one of my just click to do's <laughs> 
because it, it's one of those always used. Uh, oh yeah, it's very frequent. Ah, it's fantastic. Six. All right. Uh, so you notice uh, <laughs> you notice that guy walking up and down the hall. That's about all you notice. A few doors off to the sides. All right. Actually, what's his uh, pattern look like? His pattern? Um, Do you uh, stop and observe yeah. him for a bit? Yeah, I'm just gonna keep looking at it and just see what his pattern looks like. Okay. So stop and to to watch him for his pattern. Um, and actually, uh. Mrs. X has proficiency in perception, so I'll go ahead and let her make a check, too. Um, hey, I have proficiency in perception. <laughs> well, I was just using <laughs> that it. as the criteria for whether or not I would allow her to make a check. Actually, can you roll yeah. that for me while I get myself? I'm setting up my physical dice because I forgot to do that beforehand. But in case, I, in case roll I need to roll behind the add, screen. But... Uh, yeah, yeah, just roll d20 and I'll add the modifier. <laughs> no, yeah, for, you're both for, like... Dice. You both like... Go put your backs against either side of this door and both just like wiggle your little thing <laughs> up and it's just like you're just kind of like competing for the space you don't get to you don't get to observe too much man all this hard water is getting all the all, like, all the salt on this uh, encrusted portals can't see anything through here <laughs> is there anything in these boxes right here that are these crates are they um, like uh, do you bust them open? I don't want to bust them open, but I want to know if they're easily, if they could be easily opened. Uh, they seem like pretty ordinary, you know, fragile little crates. They don't seem to be particularly well secured. So with your, your tools or your weapons or whatever the case may be, you could probably yeah. pretty easily get them open. Yeah, I'm just going to like stick up uh, some pliers in there and just like work the screws out or whatever and try to do that still uh, quietly. Okay. But uh, I I want to. What is the USS Valerian, or like the Forester is supposed to be a merchant ship? But what is the USS Valerian? Uh, it's a Other navy. Other than an ICBM. Yeah, it's just it's a navy vessel, and as far as you can tell, it's or as far as you know from your briefing, and whatever other research you might have done, it's pretty much only purpose is to carry ICBMs. It's a, just yeah. like a forward launching platform in case anything happens yeah. with okay. enemies that you know, on the, on the other side of the Pacific. So it's just, it. yeah, we've got ICBMs and, and they're, they're stationed closer without anybody else knowing. For any viewers who don't know what an ICBM is, it's an intercontinental ballistic missile. Yep, intercontinental ballistic missile. Very big deal. Yeah. Uh, Pretty much solely yeah, so used to deliver weapons of mass destruction. Pay, payloads of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> payloads of nuclear proportions. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, so I'm going to take one of my like needle nose pliers and like work the screws out and just kind of like See if they have if they have any uh, some some good good navy glute in here. Okay, so um, I'm gonna work on this one right. The, right I'll say the um. Numbers. Now I like I like rolling for uh, random stuff behind the screen, but uh, since I'm the, uh, uh, since everything well, today was a really busy day and everything was kind of rushed, I'm not on my uh, best ability here, so I'll just let you roll okay. all of these. So go ahead and roll a d100 for. One crate at a time. So that's 53 for the one directly below. 53. There's three chem material in that one. Three ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can uh, Miss K or Miss X do anything with that? Eh, not my expertise, I'm afraid. All right, that's staying here. And I'm just going to quickly move through. I I'm... Well, if I find it, I'll tell you if I'm looking what I'm looking for. All right. 86 for the next one. 86. There's a blue herb in there. All right. That might be useful. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Let's keep it. Hold it for now. Be herb. Moving on to the next one. 17. 17. There are five 762 NATO rifle rounds in there. Oh, uh, 762 millimeter. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Never mind. Mind if I do. I'm all full. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're there in case you need any more. You said five? It's five of them. Three cam, five, seven, six, two. Three cam was the one that, uh, that first one, right? Right. Uh, 
That is 70 even for the next one. 70 is... A couple batteries are in there. Bats. Bats. Where's Mark Hamill when you need them? Exactly two. Yeah. Bats. Ninety-five for this one in the middle. Ninety-five. Ooh, that's a flash grenade. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> There's one singular Put flash the grenade down. in there. All right, and what's this next one? Miss X, if you could please. All right. She busted open. I'll roll it still. Yeah, you roll it still. <laughs> 68. 68 is a couple more batteries. We got four batteries in total in here. All right, so this is, I'll say... Uh, storage room. Just so I, I have them written down that those exist somewhere on the ship. Um, all right, so I've got that flash grenade. That dude's still moving around. Yeah, he still looks to be Roman. He doesn't seem to actually make a make a stealth check. <laughs> I'll make a stealth check for Mrs. X as well. Oh wait a minute! Hold on. All right. Hold on. I'm 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 proficient in perception. Oh, that's right. You've got a feature, don't you? I should. Yes. Uh, my profession, my perception was actually a fourteen. Your perception was a fourteen. Okay. Um. You do notice. Uh, a couple more details. First off, every once in a while, you know, he kind of goes over here, wanders a little too far in that direction. You see some other people like that kind of come to the corners and kind of yep. chat for a bit, you know. And then every once in a while, he'll just keep wandering around, lean against here for a couple seconds. Uh, so you get the sense that there are more guards down the hall. But the thing you notice most is a uh, there looks to be some sort of camera on the, the corner here near the top that's kind of looking back and forth and just on a swivel uh, keeping watch over um, are we talking like all these hallways that? Oh, yeah so it's like, like going this. this way and then it goes that way yeah but looks, not looking here it does look that way at it's farthest swivel so, so it, goes it, looks, like it looks pretty well yeah down, down every hallway uh, so we're going to want to stick through here should we enter Carefully. Uh, also, I, roll your stealth I, check. I would never pressed enter. <laughs> she rolled a 31. Uh, I rolled a 23. That's right, because <laughs> dark feature. Because <laughs> I have, uh, is it called highly skilled is the, my feature? Yes, highly skilled. Right. So, oh, 23. 23. Y'all seem pretty heavily obscured. Told you. So, never yeah, you... Me. You wait till an opportune moment. He's kind of over here. The camera's looking the other way, and you're able to enter uh, for a brief moment. I would, but you would have to, if you want to stay hidden, you would have to go someplace else after a couple of seconds. I would like so, to see what's here. Oh, so that's actually those. Are, those are all walls. I don't know why I un, undid that. I think it was because on a previous oh. version of a map there was something there. Oh, uh, the, that, okay. yeah, that's just that's just wall. That's a Oh, okay, so uh, waiting for the for the opportune moment, I would like to get the bear. <laughs> okay, so you kind of run over there and uh, sneak in in that area, and you see all of the. Uh, and also, uh, Mrs. X, just so you're not all huddled in the same place, kind of goes into uh, sneaks into into that room. Yeah. Uh, what's uh, I'm gonna let uh, she she goes into the room. Yeah, she goes into the room, and well, uh, and before she does, she actually does slip an optic cable beneath because you see all the doors inside. Once you get into the hallway, uh, seem to be yeah, pretty ordinary because, yeah. doors. Um, okay, good. So that's just like a, yeah, that's sure just that the one stopper. One get in. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, I'm so gonna she, I'm going to do the same yeah, as well. So she clears that room and then heads into it. Do me do uh, me and Miss X. Do we have Tom's? a Bluetooth connection? 
Yeah. I know you do. Let me double check to make sure. Yes, yeah, she does. Okay. So yeah, she would actually communicate to uh, to you what she sees. Uh, she describes uh, some sort of mess hall with a number of tables and benches across from a oh excuse me small countertop, kind of separating the rest of the room from a kitchen area. Is it empty? It's like yeah, seems all clean. Uh, does that second door connect to it? That one that we saw in the hallway. I don't know what that's doing there. That must have happened when I was going crazy, copying and pasting those things to fill up that room. <laughs> uh, I didn't see it. <laughs> so, what were you asking? Is that door connected or no? Oh, no. Yeah, it's not. No, okay. it doesn't seem to be. That's a lot. <laughs> she comes in over the comms. All right, I'm slipping a cable under this before the dude comes back. Yeah, this dude's on his way back right now, but you slip a cable and you see what looks to be a stairwell room uh it's empty as far as you can tell uh but it uh looks to head upwards to some sort of upper floors and make a uh make a quick intelligence check raw yeah raw just to see if you could connect oh something I found a stairwell. There's a stairwell. It leads up. <laughs> this heads up. All right. So we found a way to get up to the next floor, or hopefully to the deck, once we clear the the bowels of this ship. That's at least good to know for now. Wait for that dude to pass by again, so I can head into the next room. All right. So you wait for him to walk. Kind of walks by. Stops and looks around. Keeps walking. And meanwhile, Mrs. X here is kind of... Uh, once she realizes her room is clear, um, she uh, slips a cable back under underneath here to keep watch on the on the hallway and keep her eye on, on him. Mm -hmm. But you said you want to move for that other door? Uh, I'm going to wait... Whoa, that's pretty close, actually. Is he, as long as he's facing that way, mm -hmm. I'm going to try to just rush towards... Yeah, you can communicate yeah. with Mrs. X if you want to kind of get a... Actually, hey, Mrs. X. You get an idea. Get me a, get me an eye on that camera over here. I need to see... Uh, that way I'm not going when the camera's looking this way. Her uh, optic cable kind of turns and she takes a look and she's like... <laughs> Stand by. Stand by. All right, you'll be in the clear for a good long while. I think I could take this guy here if we want to hide him in one of these rooms. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> so tactical. Pepperell. Just take him. <laughs> um. Okay, so let me quickly... Uh, She's going to take her uh, karambit to him. And just with advantage... Which mega hits. Uh, Thanks for got, that. Got rid of that on that one too. So he's gonna take a quick. Uh, she's an assassin, so she deals a crit here. He's dead. Her sneak attack is. Well, strange things can happen. Uh, yes, I think that is. Wait, it also crits on the weapons damage. Do you no, want yeah. me to get so, you knife damage she uh, come, macro? I don't think it'll be necessary, but she comes out okay. just like with her karambit and just takes the, uh, covers his mouth and just shoves the claw end into his throat and without leave, taking it out his as his arms kind of go limp and she kind of keeps control over him, just drags him back into this room. Mm-hmm. So, this guy's down. And I'm looking up through here before the camera looks this way again. All right, so you head into that room before the camera comes back around. Uh, you open to what looks to be an 
infirmary of some kind. There are a few cushioned tables across from a wall of medicine cabinets. Sure. Uh, I'm checking these cabinets to see if there's anything in here I can use. All right. Yeah, and Mrs. X kind of searches her general vicinity as well. She radios in. She's just like, uh, sure crafty person can make something of all the ingredients in here. Got uh, a red herb there. Want a sandy? Yeah. We got that blue in the storage room, so if we, if we get a green, we can use it. Why? Do I find a green? <laughs> I'm in the, I am in an infirmary. Uh, you are in the infirmary. Um, you do find... Do uh, I need to roll? No, uh, it's pretty easy okay. to search for. Pretty well organized. Not a lot of storage uh, in particular in here. So you, uh, if you were to take a moment to just kind of search around, you do find uh, three green herbs and one blue herb. All right. I'll take one of those greens. The right, Miss uh, X, do you have do you have space in your inventory? I'm um, holding on to this herb now, but. Well, uh, I've got. A, I, I do have a few greens in here. I've got room to spare for at least one more. Uh, so I'm gonna grab two herbs. We'll we'll get the those two greens together, or the two the red and the green together. Then you can hold on to that green as well. Ah. Uh. So you're. Uh... I'm gonna watch for the. For the camera. <laughs> okay, so you're watching for the camera. So you're attempting to regroup no, with her? No, you come here. You come here. Oh, okay. So you're watching for the camera and yeah, asking her to come there. So as soon as it's in the clear, yeah, uh, she Move forward slips motion. out and smoothly makes her way inside. All right, so it's a check to, con to combine a ger an herb, right? Uh, yes, if you're not, if you don't Medical? have a med kit. So yeah, make a... Uh, I'm not very good at medical. Uh, yeah, I, well, I think it's technically... Yeah, it's an intelligence check. Yeah, you can apply proficiency with medical or med kits. So... Nope. <laughs> <laughs> if you I got more than a plus one in smartness. I think we're in the same boat here. All right. I'll take a crack at it. I know how to roll a blunt. That's close enough. <laughs> Roll being blunt. <laughs> <laughs> so those were two of the greens. No, those are the. Oh, was a red green. Oh, the red green. Okay, so you take the red from and, her, and then, yeah, I'll give her one of the. I'll give her the the one of the greens and that red green. Okay. So, so she's now orange. carrying a green herb and a red green mix. One blue here. That's oh, weird. Actually, looking at a character sheet during these games, <laughs> I'm not used to it. All right, that's nice. There's so much space. <laughs> we never heard that dude speak, right? Like, dude, you just killed. Uh, you guys heard him speak uh, a couple of times, just like banter again when he got to the end of the hall. Like, you couldn't really make out what words he was saying, but you could hear him speaking. Oh, that's what I meant. Like, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, we can't make out. Like, I don't. I don't we don't know the name of the person he was talking no. to. I'm assuming. No, you did not get that. All right. Would have had a much a role much higher on perception. I imagine. I only barely got there, anyways. Mm. That's the lowest I can roll. <sighs> we need to get that other guy out of there. All right. How about this? Uh, are you any good with technology? Um. Are you good with technology? All right. We need to the get cameras. that camera out. Yeah, we need to get that camera out. I'll take care of that dude. At this point, you actually hear uh, just some like uh, some radio fuzz that kind of comes in echoing down the halls, and you hear uh, somebody talking to them. Make a quick perception check to see what you pick up. Uh, another 14. Not much. You just hear some radio chatter uh, that seems to be coming about. And this guy comes around the corner just kind of like, eh, what are you talking about? No, he was here a second ago. 
I'll look into it. Hey! Did you, you, you make that sound? <laughs> yeah, hey. What the uh, hell's wrong with this? What, are you, Joey? What are you doing in the darn infirmary? Looking for some... <laughs> <laughs> And I'm gonna just katana. <laughs> Go ahead and <laughs> attack. Advantage. Advantage. But the katana is a lot. That's not that much. I must put 21. <laughs> Alright, 22. 22 hits. Uh. I don't have katana damage. Shoot. All right, hold on. <laughs> I think it's a D10. It is. I have knife damage. <laughs> okay. On my macro. Okay, so. Because it's crit, we Assassinate have... Assassinate a wolf. <laughs> two D10. Plus... Uh, 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 what's my sneak attack? It's plus 12... <laughs> All right, weapons damage, mobility, weapon, and that's. Oh no 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 no! Um, I had nothing in my other hand. I'm versatiling this. All right. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> Wait, that, why, why doesn't that? Work? Recognize command. Oh, I put a space between the slash and all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 65 points of damage. Just Yeah, he comes right through off. and just like... <laughs> you slice his head right off. He's dead two times over, actually. <laughs> oh, no. That's brilliant. <laughs> and as soon as you lop that his... Head, <laughs> as soon as you lop his head off, she like catches it before it hits the ground and just like catches his body too and then just slowly mm -hmm. lets it down, just keeping the stealth element. Yep. She just like drags him and leans him over against the the, the bed. Just throw him up, throw him up on that bed. <laughs> yeah, just. No, yeah, I can't get this damn thing to work. Are you guys all right down there? Hey, right, maybe you can help me. I think the batteries are out on this thing. Make a quick deception check. For damn right, guy. I'm gonna make a quick deception check. This guy's getting skeptical. He's Skeptigard. Oh no! Skeptigard. Mm -hmm. If you've accumulated some exclamation points at just, this point, yeah, he's ring? in the yellow. Yeah, just just uh -huh. move. Just stand, standard, uh, standard check. Uh, deception. Yeah. Standard though. Yeah, straight up. Uh, with my proficiency is twenty. All right. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> what are you even doing in the infirmary? <laughs> Batteries! <laughs> I'd right, make another ad advantage attack. It's 28. Uh, do I have that? I just what I just did. There we go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exact same roll. Oh, that's wow! That's actually a, quick, a pretty big swing. He does not die twice over like the last one, but nonetheless, <laughs> he is dead. <laughs> yep. So you just like slit him right across the throat. Uh, his head doesn't quite fall off, but he is also uh, just completely lifeless and gets caught and dragged off by Mrs. X as well. All right. Actually, uh, yeah, can she go ahead? Uh, do you want to go ahead and take out that camera? Let me let me check around real quick. All right. So you want it gone, gone, or suddenly gone? I don't. I don't want to alert anybody in the security room just yet. I, th I think I can do. Uh, I think I can do just the thing. She yeah, says you that she ready her spy gadgets. <laughs> Yeah, put it on one of those like live video loops that you see on James Bond. Uh, that's not exactly how it works, but close enough. That's exactly that's exactly how it works. Let's go. <laughs> and 
And uh, she she waits for your signal if you're optic cabling the door. And then I am. Goes out. Hugs the wall. Looks down Never. both ways. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're just like, dun, dun. So looking down both ways from this corner. Uh, zoomed out a bit much. Uh, you can see a fair bit of the rest of the halls. There do not seem to be any other guards in your immediate vicinity. Um, Is that a hallway down there? Yeah. Yeah, I've got all, all right. the corners that lead down to hallways. Uh, and so she gets to work on the camera. So let me use her technology proficiency really quick with her spy gadgets. Actually, let me check something really quick. Okay, yeah, I'll use tech. I was checking to see if she had expertise in spy gadgets. Otherwise, I would use that, but... Nineteen. All right. It takes uh, it takes some doing. Um, so she's kind of sitting there for a while. She's just like, like keep watch, and uh, gets oh, yeah. to work on this camera and takes out some. And of I'm her directly spy, below it, if possible. Yeah, spy tools and just starts sh messing with some of the wires. Uh, and it, it would be possible. It would be possible to be directly under it in its blind spot. Yeah. Yes, it would be possible. So go ahead and make a yeah. perception check while you're keeping watch because this is going to take some time. And this, I'm just, um, I've got my handgun out for this one. Understood. Uh, that is 14. This skill is, this ability is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, you're right. That is 14. <laughs> uh, so, no, yeah. Uh, you. If, I don't, if anyone's wondering why my math is all fucked up, it's, it's because anything I'm proficient in, um, I cannot roll below a 10. Yes. So. Uh, although I think I'm going to house rule it that that doesn't apply to nat ones. I think that would be just fair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just to just to keep things all right. But uh, no, you do. You hear some chatter coming from behind this door, um, and you also hear some footsteps coming uh, down oh. the hall. You know not not from which way. Uh, could I could I have grabbed, or if I have to, I will go now uh, to grab one of the radios off one of the corpses. Okay, as you go to, uh, yeah, you uh, double back to grab a radio? If I had, if I wouldn't, or uh, if I hadn't before, which I didn't say I was going to, uh, I, I, I would like to grab a uh, radio off one of the corpses. Okay, I'll say you could uh, start to move back for that, but as you're in the middle of this, you see quickly uh, a yeah, uh, coming. person coming around this corner and is just like, hey, 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 and he starts readying his weapon. Which way is the... Which way is the... Uh, I, 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 I'm ready for him, but which way is the camera facing? The camera currently looks to be facing... Roll a quick D6. Uh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah! <laughs> All right. I am going to... Fire off my uh, my handgun as a as I was ready for him to come around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're both kind of sitting in the blind spot of the uh, of the camera. Oh, did you just roll the d6? What? Did you ready you roll d6? Right? Yeah, yeah. I it didn't and for some reason the 3d dice didn't go, but I looked at the chat and I see that there's a d6 there. I'm like, oh, oh no, yeah, yeah. I rolled it. I rolled it. Okay, it was a, it's a five. It's looking right at him. So it's looking right at him as he's just like, <laughs> and he uh, pulls uh, up an AK. Oh yeah, so uh, like I've I've got my handgun ready. I'm looking mm -hmm. around and I hear him. I was like, oh, I gotta get out of here. Look up at the camera. Shit. <laughs> All right, so you go ahead and make your attack roll with advantage because you do still technically have the drop on him. You're you're aware that he was coming. I hope I'm not. Every time I, I kill somebody and like Isla's popping up, I'm like, I hope I didn't just kill her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, burb forever. <laughs> Uh, I would have prepped a headshot. Or All not right. prepped, but I would have been ready for a headshot. Right. Here we go with uh, 20. 20 hits. Ah, oh, dang, I have to redo. Okay, that's fine. Sneak attack. Crit. Wait a minute. 
I have to do crit for the weapon damage as well. Mm -hmm. That's right. I always forget to spot people, but I, I don't think I would have had time to anyways, right? Not necessarily. Whoa! 86! <laughs> <laughs> so which weapon was this again? HK. Uh, that's, is that your handgun? Handgun suppressed. All right. I, I look up at the, I look at the, at the camera, look back at Damn it. And he, he's just like, and he kind of swivels his AK forward, but but not before your bullets just impact and just like, just send out mist of blood spurting out from his chest. Uh, and he goes down from a hurry as your shots recoil upward into his head region. Uh, and he's down for the count, but the camera seemed to be facing in that direction. And Mrs. X is just still working with it, just like, oh boy. And uh, as Don't put that on loop. Oh, yeah, I'll be sure not to. And uh, at this point, there's no activity for a couple uh, more seconds. Waiting for the alarms. But you do... Uh, uh, she does manage to, to finish her work on the camera, but you mm -hmm. presume it's too late at this point. Let's hope nobody saw that. All right. And you hear we some... Need some noise, some chatter in some of the other rooms. Right. Well, there was constantly, we need... there's pretty, almost constantly chatter going on here. Um, it just seemed like there, there was probably some people in conversation there, but you hear some, some chatter around here. All right. So what I want to do is. Are they moving right now? Cause we need to find a place to hide. Uh, stand by. Uh, what were you asking of? Is who moving right now? Is our, like, do we hear, like, aggravated, like, you know, they are moving before in that room, and now are they just like, oh, rah, 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 rah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they're, now they're, it seems to have intensified a bit. And you do, uh, after a few moments, hear some, some footsteps coming towards the door and some shadows moving at the bottom of it. Damn. Uh, we need a. And at this point, as you're kind of, I'm thinking we need to head back to the um storage room. Well, at this point, you see this door in front of you, fly open. You see a guy peek out. He's just like, "Oh, hey, hey, hey we got intruders!" And he turns back and yells to the to the guy here, uh, a guy in the room behind him, who I guess I could. I'll just go ahead and reveal reveal that into room. this room because you could see a good bit into it, but you see another gentleman back there. Ah. They both look to be just like, you know. Is that a pool stick? <laughs> they, they look to be, uh, they're not as, as militant looking as these other guards. These guys look to be ship crew, actually. Um, and he turns and yells back to the guy behind him. He's just like, yeah, 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 the radio is right. Where we got intruders. Go, go hit the button. Um, and he starts I, moving uh, off in this can, direction. Can I rush into the room and like shove through him. Like, Let's roll some just, quick like, initiative. Stiff arm him in. Let's roll some quick initiative from where you're at there. And uh, actually, roll another d20 for your partner here, and I'll I'll add her bonus to it. She rolled a twelve on the dice. Twelve. So she is at 15 initiative. Okay. Is that a 15? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. That's not right. Ah, uh, well, the, yeah, yeah. I guess he put a different number in, uh, uh, they put the wrong number in initiative. It should be a oh. 17 initiative. Maybe that's what it was originally before. Yeah, bonuses. yeah, and then didn't about to update it. Yeah, that happens. Especially My when you're making quick, <laughs> yeah. quick characters for limited use. I think use. my proficiency was the wrong number for the longest time. <laughs> not the one, but like one episode after I. What was your uh, initiative? Thirteen. Thirteen. Twelve. 
So much for stealth. So, actually, I think this guy was kind of standing over here. Since uh, since you're rolling from your place, I'll have him start from his starting position. We'll see how this goes. So he just yelled at uh, the guy back there to go for the button. And uh, they actually beat you guys on initiative. So... So much for stealth. <laughs> Okay, so they uh, they get to go first. So he is going to, and just for the, the, the sake of presentation here, I'm just going to reveal this here. But you, you're able to see a fair bit of it from where you are, but he's going to start running. Uh, he is actually going to use his dash to get over here. Um, that's his action, and that's all he can do. Uh, the other guy is going to attempt to attack you that's with... Funny. Uh, why does that sound like Star? Uh, yeah, Star Wars. <laughs> a little bit. So he's going to just like attempt to just like he just runs forward with his bare hands and just attempts to grab at you. Uh, it's a twenty-one to hit. Oh, okay, that hits. Uh, you are grappled. Rather, we'll drag you into his space. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, he kind of just like runs forward and just like grabs you by the throat. There. And that's going to be as going to be their turn. Uh, next up is going to be Mrs. X, and she's just like, "Oh, you got this." This guy? Yeah, I got this guy. And uh in that case she's gonna uh, she's gonna run for the other one. And attempt to bonus action dash and intercept him down here. And seeing him at the wall, she now sees actually what looks to be a metal door uh at the end of it that has uh, uh a couple of kind of uh, card readers to either side and she sees him up to another plate which has a button kind of built into it and he's getting ready to 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 press the big red button and she's going to go ahead don't and... press the big red button let's see i think i use 40 of her movement so yeah, she could actually no oh, yeah she could get right up to him with her shoddy <laughs> and uh hello she is going to go ahead and just take a quick shot with her suppressed striker at advantage. A good thing for Better. her. Wait, no. I don't. Actually, she wouldn't get advantage because striker? there, there are. Oh wait, no, no, no. Yeah, I was, I was thinking a uh, surprise, but no, that wasn't the case. But yeah, that's that's a feature of the shotgun. Yeah, I forgot <laughs> shotgun as well. I was like, why did she have? Why did she have advantage on this? Um, double double advantage. Yeah, so the, uh, that hits, and because she okay, has seen hits. advantage, she gets sneak attack. So she just runs up and just psh, psh, fires two shots, and just like psh, splatters him against the wall, and he is down for the count. That kind of goes off screen. Let me just. And she just radios back to you. It's just like, talk it down. Meanwhile. Just this. This, guy's, this, this yeah, dude, this dude like, is like trying to like, <laughs> yeah, strangle you. It's just like, uh, So that brings us, meanwhile, to Mr. G's turn. Uh, switching weapons because I had the handgun out before. Mm -hmm. Is is a drop free action and pull out with a? Yeah, to, you could you start. could drop a weapon for nothing and then use your free action to draw a weapon. All right, so I'll drop the handgun, pull out the katana. All right. 
And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like, just, just, like getting on, just like, all right. <laughs> pull out the, pull out the katana, draw and swing at the same time. Uh huh. And I'm not, I'm actually not aiming. Uh, that's a 19 to hit. 19 hits. With this, actually, would it be possible to... Or I guess, like, not would it be possible, but, like, can I, with my, uh, like, flavor it this way? Or, like, I swing f fully, like, uh, do my damage or whatever, but I'm not aiming to actually hit him with it. Okay. What I'm are just you... Trying, I'm just trying to, like, like swing and then just like put my blade up to his throat and th th this is just for flavor or y yes well uh, like, like like you know like a, I could have killed you but hear me out <laughs> okay so like you know like swing through him just like whoosh. it's uh. like you're still alive I'm gonna give you one last chance <laughs> okay Make a quick intimidation check. With my hit attack. If you want me to roll the damage that I would have done. <laughs> I can as well. And add that to my intimidation. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay, that's 19. So. Uh, just like very quickly, he's like, he's like, oh, I got you. I'm just like, all right. I slip out and then pull out the, the, the katana on him. And you're still in grapple with him, technically, but you pull that maneuver sure. and he's just like, oh. yeah. He's just like, ah. uh. all right. You seem to have got me in a bit of a predicament here. So, if you want to keep your hands and if you want to keep your head, you're going to listen to me. What do you got to say, pal? I'm gonna need. A, I'm gonna need to know what's going on here. I need some. I need some information. Now, at this point, Mrs. Uh, X is dragging this guy into this room. Mm -hmm. She's gonna come out and be kind of peering around the side, out the door, kind of like head motioning to you, like trying to see if you need help. Yeah, back me up just in case. Actually, take this guy in really quick. Uh, dude, right here. <laughs> and yeah, she kind of goes out and gets everyone kind of settled in there. As you've kind of gotten um, this guy, we'll say, yeah, you're both kind of like uh, locked uh, in the middle of this hall. And he's just like, with, with that, could I get him to quit grappling me and I can just pull him into this room really quick? <laughs> All like right. he's got, like he's got his hands on like my shirt. Yeah, yeah, I've got yeah. His, My blade, so I'm just like just. <laughs> <laughs> and he just he let he lets go. All right, in here. Come to this room. There. Uh. All right. And do you still have him at kind of katana point? Like, are you are you grappled with I, him? I would like to cash in my damage on that hit. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> is like the like the threat, right? Mm -hmm. Like I, I I made that attack, and I'm just like, I can do that damage, whatever. <laughs> I just wait. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I'm gonna need some information. All right, what do you, you what are you block? looking to know? I need to know the whereabouts. Of well, at least first, let me know where the security room is. Security room. You mean the ones uh, watching the cameras? That would be helpful. Huh. They're up in the wheelhouse. How do we get there? It's upstairs from here. There's a staircase nearby. Staircase. Yeah. Okay. Is there anybody walking around here? It's a little more distinguished than the others wearing a suit, maybe. Uh, 
Now there's a lot of people around here a little more distinguished. How so? Now we've got some bosses. That we've been told to answer to. And again, this guy just like looks like ship's crew. He looks mm -hmm. uh, like just one of the people that would be uh, a part of the crew regularly running the ship. Just regular working looking dude. Yeah. Um, but you but still like navy. Yeah, but you would know that this was this was an American Navy vessel. So you yeah. you could assume all the crew were were navy of some kind. All right. Hmm. Wait, uh Mr. Yu was undercover manifold. Yeah, undercover manifold. He said he's on board the USS Valerian, which is a ship we're on. Mhm. Mm we don't know under what like because he's if, if he's manifold he's here with the manifold mm -hmm. was do we don't we didn't know if that was like a, a takeover or we don't know if that was like if they're here on any like official business all you know is that the uh this vessel what, what mr fox told you in your briefing was that this vessel had kind of uh gone missing so to speak it was it okay. was um you know, deployed here in the Pacific, and then at some point, the U.S. government lost contact with it. Okay, and okay. now Mr. Right. Yu claims that he's there with the manifold. So other than us, have there any have there been any new people on board this ship? <laughs> Whole security detail is brand spanking you. Security detail. We're talking those people we just, uh, we just offed? Yeah. Or the... All the guards running around with all geared up. That security? Yeah. That boy there. He's, uh. He's, uh. Or you two are crew then? Yeah, we were crew. The fine war. You, you guys been kicked out of your posts? Uh, no. It was just, uh. A bit of new management around. Hmm. All right. How do you how do you like the new management? By the way, this is an interview. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, needs improved. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'll rate it a four out of five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, four. No, uh, I mean, management's pretty good. Can't say I can think anything else of them. After all, right. all I've been told to. Do everything they say. By who? Uh, by the big man in charge. Which is? Eh, I don't know his name exactly. Met all these people rather, describe. rather, recently. As far as I can tell, we're taking orders from three of them. Okay, so there's three of these bosses. Yeah. All wearing suits. Not all suits. One of them's in a suit, now that I think about it. Alright. Two of them are more military types. I mean, everything they say is just... Yeah, I've got to do it. I'm, I'm going to, like, slowly back off, and I'm just going to kind of, like, lean up against this... Uh... Table. What is this table exactly? Uh, so I'm you're looking at this room. This is like it, a break room. Is that a tape? Uh, a TV. That looks to be a whiteboard of some kind, actually. Oh, whiteboard. Okay. Um, and this looks to be like some sort of situation room or something like that. Some sort of planning room. Looking over this large table that's in the middle. Uh, there looks to be plans, designs, documents, uh, things of that nature, as well as a uh, what looks to be a security key card on one of the corners. And there looks to be a map taped to the whiteboard. All right, I'm just going to motion to Miss X to grab that key card. He yoinks it. Because I don't have room. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if she has room. She does not have room. <laughs> I will... Hold on. Does a key card count as treasure? It does. I would say. It's me, a key, it's a key item, it. but I would, I, would, I, would, I would count it as treasure. I'm gonna I'm gonna stuff that key card into my treasure pouch and when I uh, like I've I'll got like it. this uh, <laughs> so like I'm gonna stuff my key card into my treasure pouch but in order to access my treasure part pouch 
I'm like, I move aside my, my bulletproof vest to reveal another vest underneath entirely made out of cash. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I have $10,000 in my, tre in my treasure pouch. Dang. And he's just yeah, like, so I'm just like, well, man, I'm, just gonna, I'm, I'm like, oh, let, me, let me, let me get that really quick. And then just, whoosh, <laughs> just like <laughs> money. <laughs> Tell oh, me how to get yeah. in your line of work. You're in my line of work, actually. Uh. Yeah, well. Now that I'm under new management, I really have no need of money. How's that? You guys been paying you guys been paid good? Oh, uh, not really. I've just sort of stopped caring. Oh, I know that feeling all too altogether. Like just the new supervisor comes in. He doesn't know how the old ways went. He doesn't have any. No, uh, I mean, I mean, I've just sort of stopped caring, you know, about getting. I paid. need to look at his eyeballs. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> All that matters is what they say next. I'm looking at his eyeballs. Is he bloodshot? A little bit. Good bit. All right. Uh, how long did new? How long ago did new management come in? Oh, maybe uh, about a week or so ago. How long does it take for a plaga to like, set in? Make a quick history right, like, check. A matter of hours, right? Make a history check. Thinking back to my uh, Kennedy <laughs> report. <laughs> uh, history. That's terrible. It's average. 12. Average. Uh, I would say that's decent enough. Um, you would know that uh, as far as you know from the Kennedy report, which you are much better read on, uh, it does take like a full day, uh, a full day to several days, yeah, to uh, for a, a plaga to set in. But you do also know uh, you would have also heard w rumors and word of some new plaga tech that has come out of Kajuju these past couple of months. Okay. Well. And at this point, as you're kind of close, he's just like, eh. well, anyway, I probably already said a little bit too much. That's fine. I'm not going to set off. And as he, as, as he like, <laughs> as he like finishes his sentence, he's just like, eh, I probably said a little bit too much. And he begins to like, he was going to begin to lunge for you as you just like, whoosh. um, but I'll say because you didn't have Can him. Check? Yeah. Because you didn't have him at, uh, at blade point at that point because you, you said you backed up so I'll have you backed up with the blade so like we'd have to we'd both have to clash again <laughs> yeah so make a quick uh, initiative check just to see who gets off first mm -hmm. and then you would have to make a new attack that's fine oh initiative is that that's a 12 he actually just uh, he beats you so he uh as he finishes his sentence, you see just like he just like opens his mouth and just like these four sort of mandibles stretch outward from inside of his mouth, and he just like oh, attempts to attempts to That's... kind of bite at you. But first, he attempts to reestablish his grapple on you, which he does, is... and you're just like. Rrr. But you can make a, an attack in turn. Give me one second. <laughs> Actually, I'll just save. Can I? I can. Oh, I did that. All right. This is with the katana because it's only natural. <laughs> it's. This is just regular. Yeah, regular damage. Nothing no else sneak attack. So that's a D12. Plus all my other stuff. 11 points of damage with a regular ass guitar. All right, 11 points of damage. All right. <laughs> Just cut his arm. All right, I could use a little help. So this dude slobbering all over me. <laughs> uh, and at this point, uh, Mrs. X just kind of steps in behind with her karamba. She's just like, oh, let me get him off you. That's a natural 20, <laughs> which she just stabs him in the back with uh, the Karambit, which you get sneak attack yep. on as well because you're because, uh, in I'm combat here. with her or with him. 
So he's going to take a quick, this is definitely going to kill, but let's, let's just be sure of it. No, yeah, just. And he goes down. Oh, no. Okay, good. <laughs> I totally forgot. Like, he, he rolled it after he died. I was like, oh, shoot. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, she just like, she comes up behind and you just see coming, protruding out of the center of this flower-like mandible that spirals outward. Just the front end of her blade just comes out the front and she pulls it out and he goes limp at your feet. Wipe a little bit of blood off my cheek. Okay. Well, that's something new. Well, actually, it's really not that new. You should read up more on the on the briefings. All right. So uh, what now? Well, See, seem to be in the clear. Crew are there's a crew are expendable. Yeah, looks like it. Seems the manifold got to them. There's an alarm like out it. out here in a door with uh that needs a couple key cards. All right, I've got one of those key cards. See if you can do anything about that alarm in case anybody decides to press it. What about all these planes? She kind of looks over this uh, desk and she's just like... Yeah, you're right. Intel gathering. I'll take care of this. All right. So you kind of look over all of the... Uh, everything that's Close on the desk. desk. Oh, you... you... <laughs> <laughs> so looking at everything here, the, the map is a global map. Um, and it's... I'm assuming there are big giant X's there are, on certain... Uh... There are actually only uh, three locations circled on the map. Uh, Camp Clancy? No. <laughs> <laughs> there is uh, one uh, that... Then these are kind of like broad circles. They don't look very precise, just general regions. Um, mm -hmm. So you see one is in what looks like the Philippines. Uh, one is in Southern California. And there's another one in Mexico. All right. So we got, uh, can I radio out from here? Uh, yeah, you would be able to. Like, can I radio to, um, I guess, like, how, how am I expected to, um, Report back on any detail, like anything. Uh, I guess I, I'd have to have an actually really good radio to report back from the middle of the ocean. <laughs> you could, I would say, with your have, spy, like, with your spy gadgets anything. and whatnot, you'd be able to like record or uh, this information. Take you know, photos. Like, yeah, yeah, like basic, like yeah, small like photo uh, capabilities. I'm just gonna like just to keep gonna, everything like, a record of everything. Gonna rotate the face of my watch and just like press the like press it down and it's gonna. I'm just gonna scan the map. Oh, a quick photo scan. Nice. Yep. And uh, is there anything on these tables that are worth in instantly looking at? Do I see the names of anybody that I uh, am working with? Uh, so you do not uh, see much in the way of names. What it looks like mostly are plans and designs uh, and things like that for uh, wh weapon. For what the manifold is kind of doing around here, you see blueprints of kind of the designs of the ICBMs as well as some blueprints for some modifications that they look to be making to it. Um, you also see various design documents that have a very particular label on it. Uh, there, are the, there are like uh, the term A-ACT. A-ACT appears on a lot of these design documents. All caps, A-ACT. A-ACT. A A-ACT. -A yeah, and uh, they appear on a. Uh, this term appears on a, a slew of design documents, for which you gather to be enhanced bioweapon payloads that these ICBM modifications are for. Uh, are we talking like virus dispersal payloads? That looks to be the case. You find documentation for. Uh, uh, again. It, uh, it's labeled as uh, you find the term A act labeled on each of these, and you find documentation for the T abyss virus, the T virus, and the G virus, and all of them labeled as A act enhanced at some point in some of these documentations. A act, A act enhanced. All right. Um, I'll try to uh, 
take a scan of every one of those as well. But is there as is there a connection between the three viruses and a point on the map? Um, not within these documents. All right, I'll just take a, get as much as I can, scan everything on the table that looks uh, important pertaining to the A Act and all that. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Can uh, she do anything about that button while I go up here? Uh, I could tend to it. And she goes down and she's going to start attempting to disable that uh, that alarm just to be on the safe mm -hmm. side. Let me get my gun back, by the way. Right, you get your gun back, and looking out this door, you see uh, another hallway, but it doesn't seem to have anything of interest in it. Does it end there? It does, it does seem to end there, just at a dead end. Okay. I'm going to check that door as well. And quick, make Before quick we head technology to... for her. Don't press the button, please. <laughs> you just hear, zzz, ah! Uh, she doesn't seem to make any progress on it, and she is a little scared at this point of triggering it so she's going to <laughs> try uh, right. she's just going to leave that one alone she's like eh it's not having it I'm going to reload alright so you reload are you picking under the store I am uh, so picking under the store you see looks to be a small room uh, in fact it looks to be an armory of some sort you see uh, a couple of crew members standing guard and some racks and tables kind of along the walls. But peculiarly, peculiarly, you see what looks to be uh, something that you've never quite seen before. You see them standing guard uh, over at the far end of the room against the wall. It sort of stood up what looks to be like this set of kind of like mechanical like humanoid-esque armor uh, that is just propped up against the far wall in this armory. And but uh, the two crew members that are standing guard here are oh that's what is that look to be on on high alert and they're like what they're kind of like standing by this door just like and then they're just like kind of communicating amongst themselves. You overhear them a bit actually through the door, just like, yeah, 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 we gotta be ready for anything. It's just like, ah, I'm sure it's fine. If anything was up, they would have sounded the alarm. I don't know, that radio chatter sound pretty serious. Yeah, well, if it was real I... serious, they would have let us have a radio. We're just sitting here watching this stuff. <laughs> they're, and they're in their crew, it looks like. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I'm assuming those, uh, the Majini are crew. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh,. I'm gonna actually speaking of radio. Just, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just forgot to do it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so you got a you got a radio. You listen in on the chatter. There looks to be, and the radio does seem to be a little active. Um, so there is some chatter that's kind of passively going on. It looks like they're organizing some people, saying like, "Hey, we lost contact with some of the crew downstairs. Not sure what happened to them after the I, I, the, the cameras, uh, <laughs> you know, like just sort of went different for a bit. All of a sudden the the call, all of a sudden, all the hallways are all kind of clear. Mm -hmm. they, they, they see this guy get shot up, and he just disappears, and they're like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they, they're not, last they communicated, they told those guys to take care of it, and uh, they seem to be, like, asking somebody, the nearest unit, to try and go and check in and see what happened. I'm I'm going to uh, ch chime back up over the radio, and I'm just uh, going to, like, act as injured as possible, just like, all right. We got, uh, we got one of them. The other one escaped. Going up to the deck. Make a deception check. I was gonna say, are you just gonna John McClane this? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I'll just get on the radio and just start screwing with them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm telling. I'm I'm, at, I'm just gonna at least try to get it. not a diversion, but uh, Buy some tell time. them to go somewhere else at first for now yeah i'll also tell them uh letting them know that or trying to get across that one of them is dead and only one of them is remaining we got one the other one went up to the deck ah. 20 
with my that's true at least skilled. skillful uh so you send this out over the airwaves and you just hear after a couple of seconds uh, all right copy that we got one still on the on the move but sounds like our guys are okay so that level, the that level's with the quick. tattoos tattoos the one that's running around yeah. right now or the one that no that guy got away okay understood looking for someone with tattoos somewhere aboard the ship and I'm uh, purposefully putting the one with the tattoos over the airwaves mm-hmm and you hear the, um, the other hopefully, side. Hopefully, Mister Yu hears me. <laughs> and you, yeah, you hear you hear this uh, and you, as you're saying this. You hear on the other side of the door, just like, hey, "Is everything all right over there?" No, need medical assistance. Oh, hey, hey, they should have some stuff uh, in the most infirmary. Th- most think the ex just like. <laughs> <laughs> I can't move. Got my leg. Oh. Shoot, man, they got Joey's leg. Hey, let's go give him a hand. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they just like open up the door and head out. So, uh, I'm just gonna rifle this one because. <laughs> okay, you would have disadvantage uh, from the proximity. Uh, that guy. I think you still have disadvantage on the proximity. Do I, hold on, do I really? Yeah. Okay. Rifles have their effective range. Yeah, starts right. a bit okay, later. no, you're right. Right, uh, I just, yeah, I'm just gonna cut him up. I think he needs a more than a hand. What was that? I think he needs a leg more than a hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cut his leg off. <laughs> so, all right, you're taking uh, taking him out, and uh, Mrs. X just kind of reaches around and kind of breaches the door with her karambit. Oh, uh, we both get. So this is a surprise. Sneak attack for this. Yeah. This oh, is, and, and this is a full surprise. surprise. Let me just roll her advantage really quick. Oh no. Oops. <laughs> oh no. I have a crit with a cram instead back of here somewhere. Actually, yeah, there it is. Let's do that. I instead of uh, writing oh. cram bit, I almost or er, what? This guy's not dead. Oh. <laughs> <Not dead. laughs> Someone survived one. On a crit. On a crit. On a crit. That's crit damage. That is a crit. No, that's forty-six on a crit, right? Not with a grambit. Okay. No, yeah, it's because there's a bunch of ones there. Someone actually survives. I can't believe it. So that's with the baton. So I'm hitting the guy in front. The guy yeah. in the back survived. Hits. Yeah, the guy in the back survived. I'm just gonna cut his leg off. So roll. Actually, uh, what? Okay, so <laughs> yeah, so you just oh, that's wrong. Ah, uh, and he goes <laughs> down <laughs> and bleeds out eventually. <laughs> yeah, Unless, I mean, I cut to the more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, the guy in the back. What's also worth noting? She can attack oh, him again. Oh. Still during a surprise round, so that hits, and actually the minimum she could do will finish him off. So yeah, she takes him down all at once as well. She's got two attacks. Why does she have two attacks? <laughs> I want to do that. <laughs> it's fine. She, uh, oh no, that makes a lot of sense. I was literally about to ask, does she also have very skilled or highly skilled? She does not have highly skilled. I think it's not. Does not seem to be the case, but uh, <laughs> but yeah. So she kind of like you cut off that guy's leg, and she goes in behind him and just like tsk, tsk, just jabs him twice with the cram bit. It's just like, Argh! and uh, he bleeds significantly. Also, speaking of bleed, I think she also has bleed, and I haven't been using that, so she does slightly more knife damage as well. Wait. Um, oh. Yeah. So. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. So she stabs at this guy a couple of times, and he just like bleeds out and stumbles backwards across the room. That's like an extra 2d4 on every hit? Pretty much. Or one, at least one time per round, right? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm just going to start looking through here and just start to, like, see if there's any weaponry I can uh, I can uh, use. 
It's worth noting as this guy stumbles backwards into the room, he kind of like trips oh, no. <laughs> and lands against the wall. And as he does, you hear it just sort of as something seems to have triggered from what he splattered against. Uh, and all of a sudden, the machine at the far end seems to come online. Oh, great. Pull out the rifle. And she also backs up. <laughs> <laughs> and takes cover by the door. If, if that thing shoots me, I'm... No, this is working. Ah! <laughs> Initialize, initializing startup protocols. And that is where we're going to be take our midpoint break. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that was dope as hell. Yeah, it's on. <laughs> oh, that is such a cool filter. All right, so we're going to take our midpoint break real quick right here, and we're going to find out what in the world just turned on. So, we'll be right back in a little bit. Okay, so, last we left off, y'all were in the armory, and this machine that you have just encountered has just powered on after taking out the two guards watching over it. And our two agents I'm have gonna... taken cover by the door. I'm going to use my... Um... Fiber wire to look across the... <laughs> Just uh, around <laughs> the corner. Yep. Alright. Uh, what does he see? <laughs> Is she doing anything? I don't know if we have Ilo. Dog was uh -oh. barking. Damn, they beefed up security somehow. What the right. hell is that? Ah, oh, crap. What is that? Felt scanning the room. I heard scanning for intruders. Scanning the room. <laughs> Doesn't see anyone in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look around, you just see like this uh body uh, just slumped over in the corner and one body just like out in in, uh, in front of the door which is still wide open. I like to imagine he's just like oh, slumped over like in the middle of the doorway. <laughs> ah crap. All right. Uh I, I didn't get a good look of what was of what was in there, right? No, you did not. Walking over to the door. Just kind of looking around. Uh, uh. And if you would, uh, if you if you would like to describe uh, the machine in further detail, uh, you may. Uh, yeah, this isn't human. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? Um, no. Uh, and it has cool, like pretty much an android, nice metallic clothing. Uh. Thick wires. You like them. She's got a mouth that's partially open. But when she talks, it just kind of lights up. It doesn't move. Um. Yeah. Android. Right. <laughs> okay. I think I know what this is. I dealt with something like this in the Feliciano Manor. This is Plaga, probably. All right, where's the soft spot? To... I don't know. It's a freaking walking piece of armor, man. I'm just gonna run in <laughs> 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 uh, with my katana. Oh. <laughs> I'm clearly like moving to hit to hit. Yeah, this guy, this guy with covered in tattoos just walks in with a katana sword and starts charging you. Mode engage. We got to fight. Are we fighting? <laughs> I, 
It's up to you. Are you are you fi are you fighting him? I mean, he's he's coming at you with a sword. And at this point, Mrs. X is kind oh. of getting his back and just like she draws her shotgun and moves into this room as well. Fighting. And just to be just to be clear, we look nothing like the other people in the on the ship, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 You, you. She. Wait, yeah. 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 These guys. These two yeah. do not. They look completely distinct. There's a people. <laughs> what? What's that? Facial recognition unable to identify. That's never good. Trying to identify us. She's like keeps on, her gun trained on it and starts like flanking. I'm just, I'm just like. Are, are are you moving to? Uh, are, are are you being offensive? If you're, well, if you're being offensive uh, to her, she's gonna be offensive in return. Mm. Trying to figure out how to do this. <laughs> Cause I just want to cut it. Turn to hostile situation. All right, I'm cutting it. <laughs> Are you gonna try? All right, make an attack roll. As soon as she's in a hostile situation, I was I mean, initially I was gonna go like, hold on, I kind of want to. Cause see. you're attacking her. <laughs> uh, I, I initially was gonna wanted to see what would happen if I was like, if you scanned my face, uh, if if I was in the any data. Said basis. unable to identify. That's what, that's what I was gonna say. Like, uh, I was like, "Hold on, wait." Uh, I guess, like, just like, are you in this kind of like defensive stance, uh, or offensive stance, or whatever? Her to swing, yeah, she'll get offensive. What does that look like? I want to know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because I was thinking, I was like, hmm? one of her arm raises and morphs into like, I, like a, kind of, like what? She's like, if you go to swing, one of her arms raises and morphs into like a blaster. That's the Mega Man stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Well, I think that was the horn. We're, 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 we're caught. <laughs> Which so, I forgot. Are to... we going? I I don't, I don't know. I like. I'm trying to think. Like G would just fight this thing. <laughs> <laughs> also forgot to mark off the shot she used earlier, but uh, she is loaded up on the striker right now and ready to blow this thing to bits. All right. You know, I'll, I'm going to say, because she did say facial recognition, uh, uh, or unable to, like, you know, identify. I'm just going to, like, scan me again. Man, invalid. All right. She doesn't know who I am. Or, it doesn't know who I am. Yeah, he's kind of feminine looking in, is it? It's a freaking robot. Uh, I'm gonna look around to see if there's any like um, makers marks. Like uh, I'm like, a close eye on you. I'm looking to see if there's like if there's just like the manifold <laughs> laser cut somewhere into it. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I think there would be on her back. On her back. Well, you would you would see uh, on her back this emblem uh, that looks to be like a square with circles at each corner and then a circle in the middle and lines connecting all the circles. Um, Have I seen that before? I don't know if Mr. G has. I think Emil has, right? Emil has, yeah. I would say it was probably in some BSAA reports because Chauncey was there as That's well. That's true. Um, 
of uh, another manifold facility in Indiana. That would have had a symbol mm -hmm. like this or with this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's the last place such a symbol was seen. All right, well, this is a manifold object. Seems to be unfinished. See is imprinted on a shoulder is the word Enyo. Enyo? E N Y O. E N Y O. All right, well, it seems to be some sort of manifold object. Clearly an unfinished design. Do you think you can hack it? Um. Waiting command. Possibly. That seems like it might, right. uh, might be prime for it. Let's see if we can do it. All right, I'm going to start messing with this thing. And let me make a quick technology check for her. <laughs> oh, which does really oh, well. <laughs> so she just like holsters. Did that like go against my AC? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if it did. Wait, does that not hit? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say if it did. It would still succeed. <laughs> it would still succeed. But you know, yeah, she uh, holsters her weapon after seeing that you're not, you don't seem to be attacking, and uh, pulls out her spy gadgets instead and starts like prying at some armor plating and trying to mess around with you and see if she could like uh, sort of get in in under your under your under your panels. Uh, Eventually, That's nasty. <laughs> eventually uh, she kind of uh, starts kind of getting through. Uh, this is all taking place over the course of a great deal of time. Um, and she starts looking in and if I don't, I don't know if Enyo finds this rather invasive, but this is what's going on. <laughs> and uh, she kind of opens up a couple of panels and kind of looks through and sees kind of the circuitry beneath. And she's like, oh, man, this thing's entirely mechanical. Reach detected. Genuine robot. Nope. Looks like it. Yeah, after breach detected, is are you moving? Both both of her arms turn into blasters. She ah! like, look, she she looks uh, Miss X straight in the eye. Oh, all right, I'm not, not doing any more of that. So step behind it. I have All right. so many questions well, about this thing. It didn't recognize me, and if it's a if, if it's a manifold uh, object, then its databases aren't completely uh, aren't all completely finished. I mean, is there anything we could get out of this? I think it not knows stuff. We, uh, get into I its, think it's got data. Not unless we get into its not unless we can get into its brain. Oi. Just looking for Are it. We get in your like, brain. I mean, you tried, right? Yeah, it's uh, invalid. It doesn't know what we're talking about. Yeah, I know. That's why we have to uh, laser cut through. I do understand. Huh. Ignore that. It was you programmed to do that. You cannot my brain. Well, it's got to have a hard drive here somewhere. Just, just sort of like walking around and just knocking on it and just like ding ding ding. I, uh, I'm ding, almost ding, just ding. like, it's got a hard drive, yeah, hard drive. What was that? Not touch me. Uh, it's got proximity sensors. It's pretty high tech. That's quite advanced. All right, we need to haul this out of here. We need to be able. We need to hack into it. If this is connected to the manifolds databases, this is extremely useful. Uh, let's see what it. Uh... It's not gonna let me operate on it. And let me see. Uh, let me see how much we could figure out just by talking to it, maybe. Oi! No manifold, yeah. It says Enyo there. Correct. Enyo is my name. I'm calling you Mark Three. Okay, Enyo. I'm a product of. The Manifold, created by Elliot Walker. Where is Elliot Walker? Elliot Walker is in the Manifold. Dumb as a rock. All right, we need to find the hard drive. <laughs> <It's> like... 
Alright, uh, uh, eh. Trained by Walker. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how far we're gonna get with this thing. Oi! What's your purpose? That one might have been a yeah. little too deep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, All right. When? When do you when do you destruct? Not self destruct. What? Destruction of others. Yeah. When are you programmed to do that? That is my current objective. But I have no target. All right, we need to figure out how to get into its uh, friend or foe designation. Figure out who its targets are. I have no target. I'm gonna go over here, grab this dude right here. <laughs> I'm just gonna like prop him up against the wall, <laughs> kind of like make sure his like get his head on right. <laughs> yeah, just total. We can have Bernie's just prop him up, just like. Dip. <laughs> yep. And I'm gonna be like pointing, pointing with my sword, like what, like, like a freaking like stick. It's like that's your target. You check the stick. Actually, you know what I do? <laughs> <laughs> he raises one of rods and just fires. Uh. Do you fire uh, one of your one of your guns? <laughs> so yeah, she raises one of her arms and just <laughs> just fires into its chest. How loud was that? <laughs> I don't know. Is that an attack <laughs> roll? Just to see if she'd hit him. He's dead. Yeah, yeah. You, you, oh, he's you, dead. You, <laughs> <laughs> you hit him real good. How loud was that? Yeah, she doesn't have any suppressors. Yeah, that was that, that was a full on gunshot then. Just gun. <laughs> was it a gunshot? Was it like it was a cannon? It sounded basically like gunshot. a gunshot. Yeah. Ah, crap. Alright, hold on. Okay, time may be of the essence here. This thing seems uh, smart enough to... Uh, just follow some basic uh, verbiage here. That, that's good enough. I'm looking through to see if there's anything useful in the armory. Uh, looking around the armory, uh, you see on the racks uh, along that wall that you're at, there look to be 10 rounds of 9mm handgun ammo. And thirty rounds of five fifty six millimeter assault rounds, NATO assault rifle rounds. Ten rounds, nine mil, mm -hmm. and fifty rounds. Thirty rounds, uh, five fifty six. Oh, thirty rounds. Hey, back row. Right. Ah, okay. All right. Mark three. Follow and, me. The, and then on the table uh, opposite that rack, you oh, do also see like a security card, security key card. You like. <laughs> I have two key cards in my treasure pouch. All right. All right. Mark three. Follow me. Come on, Anya. <laughs> she just kind of <laughs> follows you out. I think I lose burbs, so and, I'll just yeah, I'll just control I, I it for now. Uh, I'm going to carefully like uh, like sweeping all the halls and everything, making sure nobody showed up. But check down the hall where the staircase is. Uh, and looking down the staircase, make a perception check and down in that direction.
Not bad. 23. 23. Everything seems as you last left it, uh, except you do hear some clatter coming down from the general staircase region. Have I heard anything on radio? Uh, last you heard on radio was that they are keeping uh, vigilant and looking and sweeping actively the uh, the ship for this intruder. The deck. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> There just seems to be some, right. some activity in the stairwell. That might have been related to that. And they are not... Uh, like, staying here a little bit. Mm -hmm. Nobody comes out the door. Uh, Stay. Wait a while. No more than, like, 30 seconds. Okay, after about 30 seconds, close to the end of it, you would hear that door open up. And make a quick stealth check. I'm like motion for them to like, mm -hmm. uh, like there's somebody here. Careful. Yeah. Oh. We, oh, we've been caught. <laughs> no. She's following you. <laughs> yeah, she's just she's just following along. Twenty-seven. Okay. Yeah. Easy. You're in the clear. Uh, he. There looks to be a head that kind of pops out of here and kind of goes out far enough to peek down the hall and look down in either direction. Doesn't see anything. Goes back into the stairwell. All right, let's go. I'm going to give uh, Miss X one of the cards and we're just going to be like, one. Oh wait, no. Can is there anything? This locked door. Is it like sealed, um, or is it just a door that is? I, mean, I imagine because it's like it's. So it basically looks like, like a big bulkhead. Uh yeah, well it basically just looks like a really solid steel door. It's not necessarily like airtight sealed, um, but it is. It is a very sturdy looking door. Any way to get a peek into the other side? Yeah, actually, I would, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, it wasn't airtight sealed, so yeah, I would allow it. Uh, go ahead and uh, make a perception check for this. Oh, this is happening. Mm -hmm. Seeing this steel door, or lock the metal door, and try, and they're trying to get through it. She raises both her arms, puts them together, and like the two like mechanical hands and wrists like combine into one. Oh no! What's happening? Move. We got the key card. We'll take down the door. I don't think that would be necessary, lass. <laughs> Understood. I keep there. things on the down low here. Uh, I mean, that's like a secondary objective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, sounds like there's still a lot of gods running around. Yeah. And we don't have what we've come for. No, yet, but I'm hoping our boy knows that I'm here. So you still peeking? If, yeah, I'm trying to see what's, uh, just real quick, but before, like, before we swipe, I want to see that we're just not going to, like, open this door into a group of hallway folks. Yeah. <laughs> just ha one take hallway fight scene on the other side. Uh, we, just, we just open it and it's just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So go ahead and make your uh, perception check. Oh, uh, I did seventeen. Oh, right, that was the that was the seventeen. Uh, so looking on the other side, your uh, it basically looks to open to a walkway that is part way up in the middle of a uh, enormous chamber that expands the rest of the ship's length. And you can kind of see over the walkway a little bit, but your vision is a little obscured from um, from certain areas you have a few blind spots because along the walkway there look to be like basically like solid walls sort of erected along the railing so that there's kind of like basically like a full wall kind of every once in a while along the railing but most of the railing is kind of uh, okay 
kind of transparent, you know, like it's just the the uh, hand grip and that's about it. But looking out mm -hmm. uh, from what you can see, yeah, you do see that this entire chamber seems to stretch the rest of the ship's length. This is the cargo sort of hold. And you do oh, also okay. see, uh, from what you can see from this angle, you do also see out in the, the cargo area, out, you know, in the, the, the sort of ground floor beyond the catwalk, there are three platforms stretched across the floor below and on each one it stands a massive missile about 75 feet tall so you got three right. of we found and the missiles do you also see uh if you i guess uh no yeah that's about all you can see from that angle but you just look to be in the corner, one corner of the chamber, and it exits out into a walkway. But be, uh, because there's that kind of wall along the the catwalk that prevents you from seeing much else, uh, you do also figure you'd probably be pretty safe to to walk out without being seen by much else. Does the catwalk run straight that way? Uh... And just as a line. Uh, so basically, once you exit on the other side of that door. It's it's just like straight that way. And you're oh, it like goes in the that corner. way. Okay. Yeah, it goes and it's kind of hugging the the inside wall. Oh, okay. Or the outside wall. One or the other. <laughs> Are well, I guess it's clear to uh, uh, walk in and check. Cause I just want to mm -hmm. see if there's any other doors there. Uh, yeah, that's all you see. It seems to. I guess you would be able to see that it goes down that way for the rest of the ship's length, and then at the mm -hmm. uh, rounds another corner, but. There's a lot more, a lot more catwalk in that room. All right, actually, I'm I'm starting to think uh, whoever we're looking for is probably going to be up on deck. But uh, if we can get to that security room, we can uh, see if they have any cameras down here, and we can we can just do a quick uh, double check and confirm whether anybody's down here. But Mrs. I think X our guy might be upstairs. Mrs. X kind of chimes in. She Not says, in here. Oh, well, if you want to risk it, we can split up. I can take the people in the security room, I can take over it for you, and kind of give you some advisement as you're moving along. All right, that sounds good. You've got a shotgun. Paint the room. Eh, quiet shotgun. Heh <laughs> I'm ready for this. Quiet shotgun. Love it. Freaking agents, man. <laughs> and she's like. Tactically, stealthily, moves along, <laughs> back. That's she goes, so she clips through cool. the walls, but kind of <laughs> takes off and heads for the stairwell and starts making her way up towards the wheelhouse. What did uh, Mark Three say? <laughs> Hearing the word shotgun, her arms, like her arms, morph together again into that like single blaster. Oh jeez, that's don't point that at me. Wait, wait, what? Submachine gun. Uh, no, no. Okay, fine. <laughs> submachine gun. I said shotgun. I know, I know. I'm just like submachine gun. Does that do anything? Uh, just you, you just say it to her. <laughs> yeah, I just say like, submachine gun. Nothing happens. Hands invalid. Uh rifle man invalid hammer man invalid <laughs> all right so you have shotgun affirmative what, what was that other one that you had the, the Pew, pew. Don't do, don't pew pew. <laughs> Affirmative. What is that? And gun. I should have known. <laughs> it's your hands. All right, I'm going. In. <laughs> it's a hand gun. Magnum. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's dope. All right, let's go in. Hey, Leo. 
is also enabled. You have knife? Invalid. Well, you don't have knife or hammer. What other options are there? So is there some sort of visual with explosive <laughs> fists? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just... She's just like, there's no... I'm, I'm like, naming weapons, you're just like... <laughs> yeah, just fisticuffs. <laughs> just busts out the fists. But yeah, like your arms, like your arms actually change back into regular hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because like the ex uh, yeah, the explosive damage is essentially just for the purposes of being more than bludgeoning, right? So Scott yeah. Scott Moeller also did explosive damage with his fists, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, to he overcome was, he, uh, bludgeoning resistance. Yeah, basically, he was just normal fisticuffs. So, like, I mean, you're a robot, to, though. You could to, to <laughs> show an example of her melee. She just like punches the wall next to her. It just. Just battles <laughs> Just sort of punches a hole in the thin wall that leads into the conference room, and it's just like solid bent steel. Well, all right, let's let's go in here. That's man, I've got a I've got a puppy that can punch things and shoot things out of its hand. This is awesome. <laughs> you also hear over the uh, over your your comms, boy. Yeah, uh, be careful when go. So, uh, motion sensors all over the stairwell. Oh, jeez. Can you get past them? Uh, yeah. Uh, I could... Tr I think I could get by without tripping them, or I could take some time to try and disable them. But that might run the risk. Uh, no. I could trigger them if I fail. Try, try to see if you can get through them. Uh, we're heading into the ICBM room. Alright, easy enough. Uh, we, we opened this door before she left, or am I going to have to give the... the oh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm assuming you would have swiped it before she left in, in that case. Yeah, since you... Yeah, yeah, I said I'm, you gave her the other one. Just you swipe it through the reader, and she just goes... Mm -hmm. mm. I'm going to head through. Lights up green. You head through. She keeps heading upwards. Uh, or, uh, this is X notes that she keeps heading upwards. So you head through into the next chamber. And basically, uh, you see, again, what I described earlier, this massive chamber that stretches the rest of it. Uh, but now you can see a, a lot more visuals, especially if you take cover um, on the wall that's nearest to you. Uh, I would want to. In fact, let me go ahead and get you a quick visual. Show you what you're looking at. Now, this doesn't encompass... Uh, the entire chamber, but it does cover a lot of it. Um, so first let me just note before I uh, roll you over that the... Uh, basically what you see, if you were to take a look out, um, and make a quick stealth check, by the way, as you're entering into this room, both of you. With my highly skilled, that is a 23. All right. And 17. 17 on Enyo. Um, so, yeah, you guys uh, sneak in quietly enough. Um, in fact, it doesn't seem entirely unexpected oh, that been, those I... that those doors would have opened. So enough any of the noise that would have been made from it is pretty much just written off by the people within. What were you saying? I keep forgetting I have advantage on stealth checks. You do also have that. Uh, I'm just going to have a button for stealth that just automatically rolls advantage. That way I don't have to think about it. And then we just discount it if it doesn't apply. You just use the first one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, all right, so you all sneak into this room. And as you do, you're able to take uh, cover nearby and get a good vantage point since no attention has been drawn to you on pretty much everything around here. You, again, you see those three platforms with the three missiles stretched across the lower floor, but along, and you also see a couple of figures, look to be more ship crew, mechanics, things like that, working amongst the pipes and whatnot that are down on that lower floor. But on this same catwalk, it seems to continue around the edge of the room, and then there's a part of the 
catwalk that kind of comes outwards a little bit more or uh, towards the center of the room at one point, and there's a small like platform that looks like a, a handful of people are stood on. Um, first off, looking around, you see about 10 ship crew in total just oh. around this entire chamber uh, on the lower level and on the, the later on down the catwalk. Um, and they all just seem to be, you know, going around idly, doing duties, things like that. Uh, it's just bustling in here with activity. Uh, but you also see three figures on the wider part of the platform later on. One of them is this large, bulky, imposing figure that is just like holding in his uh, hands what looks to be some sort of Gatling gun and just standing by ready, ready to rock and roll. And by him is also another gentleman who looks to be dressed up in a very fine uh, black suit with a white shirt and slick, well-groomed brown hair and beard. Mm -hmm. So he looks, and both of them look to be just standing by, but both of them are flanking uh, another figure that stands, you know, sort of in front and in between them. And this figure is kind of well-built uh, in dark tactical armor, but uh, his face is obscured by a gas mask, and he's just looking over at these missiles, and the three of them are all sort of stood out there like some sort of some sort of crew surveying uh, this domain. Who is the guy in the middle? Just uh, the one in the middle is just the the figure in tactical gear with the gas mask. Gas mask. So when we've met people. Uh, you don't recognize, neither of you recognize but any of them at a glance. Is this someone we've met before? You don't know. He's wearing a gas mask. Exactly. Because we haven't, we haven't met anyone with a gas mask. Oh, where, where are we? So you guys come oh. out at this red door in the corner here. Oh no. And you guys have Damn. sort of taken cover at this, uh, the, where the where the boundaries kind of thicken there are all full cover. Mm -hmm. Is that just one ICBM and it stretches down the rest of the yeah, way? Yeah, this is as far as it goes, but yeah, the chamber off. continues stretching on farther that way, but this is one platform Question. with one missile right here in the center. Question. Um, that ladder heads down. We know mm -hmm. how far? Uh, it looks to be a uh, drop about uh a full 30 feet. So these guys could probably get up with a dash. Do we know... Um, so, uh, hold on, let me just put me on the map. By the way, uh, okay, no, you did on stream. So we're here. Mm -hmm. Wait, those guys are medium? Well, the Gatling dudes? This, the Zag dude? Yeah, he's medium. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a... That's not the guy I was thinking of. <laughs> the, uh... As this is going on, you notice on that platform, if you're keeping watch over it, my, the person... I have my rifle mask, out now. Okay. The, per, uh, the figure with the gas mask has his fingers up to his ear and looks to be speaking over the comms. Do I hear anything? That's right, you got one of the radios. Yeah, you would uh, you would uh, you would hear him at this point over the comms, uh, and you just uh, you, well. First off, you you hear like communication uh, back and forth with the security room again. All this time, them searching the cameras and being like, "Yeah, well, no new activity in a while. Everyone's still sweeping." And you hear a couple conf confirmations, just like, "Yeah, yeah, still sweeping. It's a big ship, though. It could be anywhere, or he he could be anywhere. Rather, they think there's only one." <laughs> And you hear uh, the figure as he puts his hand up to his his ear and starts speaking over the comms. He's just like, "Regardless, the time to act is now. Go ahead and Back activate the, the protocols." Comms. Oh shit! Back over the comms, and it's just like, or uh, uh, to, uh, uh, 
uh, Miss X and just be like, I think they're doing something. You better move fast. And then uh, there's a little bit Rifle of... ready. It's a little bit of radio silence. Um, but, uh, before she gets back to you. And then she's just like, eh, eh, all right. I'll just clear the uh, the security room. You might ha you might want to go loud. I'll give you a go ahead if we have to. I right. I've taken out the uh, some guards up here keeping watch over the deck. Uh, there are a couple more guards patrolling the deck, but I don't I don't think they uh, they've caught wind of me yet. But I'm clear for the most part, and I've got access to the cameras. Anything anything you need to know? I need to see if there's any erratic movement. I think I found our guy. He's down here. There's three other. I found the three uh, bosses. <laughs> I just heard of. I heard. I heard him over the radio. They're gonna start some sort of protocol. I need to see where that. Which where that's me... happening. My, I have a rifle ready, aimed for a gas mask man. Right. Uh. Which I think. Well, yeah, your stealth. Your stealth is so good that Mister Yu doesn't seem to have noticed you guys yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm also all right. Which end of actually, the? Um... He actually might have might have noticed Enyo with her stealth, but nonetheless, uh, just notices just like you know a man, uh, what he knows to be the manifold uh, machine moving about, and Sneaking doesn't around. have <laughs> yeah doesn't have any any notice of you. But he like, hears the chatter the are we on? Like, over the. Is that the? Yeah, this is this is the rear end. This because, is the rear end. Yeah, because so the, the stairwell back there led up to the wheelhouse. Right, right, right. So, what do you call the front of the ship? I think stern is like one of the sides. Well, because the 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 sides are starboard and port, I think. But uh, would I even know this? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> But nonetheless, the front I'm, of the I'm, ship. Oh, I'm, I'm going to, um, uh, like, squawk over the comms again and just be like, like, trying of to. The bow is called the bow. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, uh, I'm gonna go, go talk over the radio again, trying to be a different person. Mm hmm. Not the injured one who just died. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to be like... Uh, oh, no, I don't know if I can do that because we're in the same room. It'd be hard to mask talking. <laughs> it's true, but there's there's enough distance and enough noise going on in this room That's that true, you, didn't, loud, you, didn't, you didn't hear... Uh, the other figure talking okay, with no, his natural fair. voice when you heard him over the radio. You just saw him put his All hand right. up to his ear and then you heard him over the radio. All right, so I'm, I'm going to pull up the radio. I'm going to be like, uh, just like calling up. It's like, uh, uh, freaking tattooed guy. He's, he's down on the bow end of the ship. I think he's headed down to the ICBMs. And then you uh, see the, the figure put his hand up to his ear again. He's just like, that's not good. Guards, stop him at all costs. Mrs. X chimes into you, just like on another channel. You're just like running the whole ship, just like, yeah, like Batman meeting talking to Bruce Wayne. But uh, oh man, I need to post that somewhere on one of our channels. That's it's such a good clip. Uh, but she gets back to you, just like, uh, uh, looks like your little trick worked. See the guards moving around up here. All right, good. Uh, but do you see anybody uh, heading in a different direction? Oh, I, like they, they said activism and protocols. I don't know what's going on. I think they're preparing to launch, but I can't do anything from down here. Nothing on the deck, but I'll see what I can get to. And you hear some like typing on the camera feeds. Does any of you know what they're doing? What's the, what's protocol? Not necessarily, no. You're pretty uh, 
You're you're a pretty blank slate. You don't necessarily have any special knowledge on what was going on around here. Uh, because unknown. Damn. All right, Mark Three. Can you identify those three on the platform? Identifying. Uh, you would not have any uh, record of manifold personnel. Unable to identify. She got woken up a little early. All right, all right, all right. But you can kill, right? Affirmative. Sounds good. Uh, are these? And then his guns morph. Uh, arms morph again. <laughs> <laughs> it's just every time she does that, just, like Mr. Jesus, like, don't point him at me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do these people move with the new alert to go to the bow? Uh, all these here don't seem to move. That seems to be uh, seems to be a command for the the guard personnel. And what you've noticed is that oh, the guards are, are all guard yeah personnel. the guards are all communicating, but all of the turned uh, ship crew just seem to be labor uh, that are kind of yeah. thrown about where they're needed. All right, but they're, yeah, yeah, they're yeah, all moving I'm, around. I'm zooming in now. Stuff. None of yeah. All right. And you see one extract. You see one of the crew members yells down to the others and uh, to to get off the ground floor, and they start making their way up the ladder. Ah, crap! I I need to extract the guy in the in upper. I'm here for the guy in the suit. We don't kill him. Kill everybody else. Are you ready? And while I'm saying this, I'm unscrewing the suppressor on my. Okay. Who was it? Suit guy. Don't kill that guy. Kill everyone except that guy. <laughs> <laughs> kill everybody except that guy. Hopefully. He hopefully he knows what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna like get prone. Uh because you said I can uh like shoot through these kind of grates. Uh yes, you can. Like everything in between here are pretty much just the only thing is like a handrail. Uh, yeah. But then once it hits these, it's full cover. Yeah, I'm gonna drop prone so I can uh, get the full three quarters uh, from the uh, this wall, mm. as well as hopefully maybe some disadvantage. But wait, is it a disadvantage to fire from? Yeah, no, yeah. it's not. Uh, no, it's not disadvantage them. for uh, ranged attacks from prone. But it's but it, to to receive ranged attacks, it is disadvantage. Yes. I'm gonna go, drop prone. And I'm just gonna like level my rifle off. Okay. I would say you wouldn't be able to get gas the, mask. the the uh Yeah, I would say you wouldn't be able to take that shot from there. You'd have to be prone right here in order to take such a shot. That's fine. That's uh, fine. so you cool. wouldn't get the cover, but you will get the disadvantage. Can I go there? <laughs> <laughs> uh I would say yeah, but the got, same same rules would I'm, still apply. Oh, yeah. No cover but okay. disadvantage. I, I'm no cover. Okay, so I'll I'll be there. Um Hopefully five feet will put me out of somebody's range. Who knows? I'm gonna hit gas mask guy, but I'm gonna like tell Mark Three uh, <laughs> Enyo. It's like okay, I'm gonna get your I'm gonna get your back, and I'm I'm going to protect you as best I can. You need to just start killing everybody here except the man in the suit. It's a target. <laughs> <laughs> And at this point, you hear... Uh, I'm going to call over the comms as well. You're calling to, over the comms? To uh, Miss X. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say, we're going loud down here. Be prepared. Gulcha, uh, I, I think there's some activity. And as she's about to complete her sentence, uh, you hear... Well, first you see just a bunch of flashing lights in this room as a bunch oh, of crap, alarms a seem to be going around. And you just hear launch protocols activated over the uh, loudspeakers. And you see the ceiling above you. There are like kind of three bulkheads above each of these platforms that just start opening up to the sky. 
Miss X, see if you can get on that, and I'm going to. And at this point, these trigger. guys are getting <laughs> off of the ground floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the gonna, place I'm is about pull to the get dusted. I'm gonna pull the trigger now, but so, I'm also gonna right before I do that, I'm gonna yell at Miss X. I'm just like, Miss X, can you get on that? I'm a best. And as you take that shot, go ahead and make your attack with advantage. I really hope this hits. I'm going for a headshot. Advantage. Okay, so that is actually a higher mod. Uh, it's an 18 to hit. I, I don't think that hits. At a headshot? That's a headshot. That's actually a pretty low roll. That does not hit. So I knew it! <sighs> as you go prone, line up your shot and you say that all over the airwaves, but the flashing lights and all of the commotion that's going on in this room, all of the personnel moving, it's just so chaotic and messes with your focus, especially the lights. And as you squeeze the trigger, it's just like, Phew. and your shot is really close, but it is just yeah, off. I, and because it, it was not suppressed, actually, so it was it more like suppressed. a, and so it was like a, yeah, and your shot flies across the room, very close to being a full headshot. But did I hit one of the straps on his gas mask? <laughs> I was going to say you were very close and it was a headshot. So you actually see the figure react and just like and just like recoils their head. And by the time they reorient themselves back where they're, they're facing towards you and they start looking around, you see there's just like a huge gas g gash in the uh, uh, one of the eye uh holes for the gas mask and you see you just shattered one of the lenses uh and he's like looking around through like shattered glass and at that point he just like just it's a little too unclear and he just removes his gas mask to get a clearer look and uh, you see what uh, mr g uh. would recognize from dossiers as aiden samson standing on this platform uh. Oh my god, I drew that guy so long ago. <laughs> now we roll for initiative. Oh. Wait a sec. Oh yeah, ah! that was a surprise round if Enyo is uh, doing anything yeah. during that time. I I, I did I, I told her, uh, obviously I'd kill whatever, but I would have I, I would have let her get into position before I like, yeah, fully mm -hmm. engaged. So you've got a full round uh, of, of surprise round time that you could do with Enyo right now. Is she doing anything? I said I would back you up when you go in. Yeah, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go full fist of cost right now. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Guys are probably... Meanwhile, I Maybe not yet, because I don't think you can meet anywhere. I, can, I don't think you can get to anybody yet. Oh no, yes I can. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm like looking at it, I'm like, fist cost, everyone's like 50 feet away. Uh... uh... Hold on, while you're while you're figuring out your distances, oh, I'm gonna start rolling for some initiative on my end, getting myself set up. Oh, I've got so much stuff. And uh, no, then I—that's my move. That actually. Which move? Like, oh, What's I that? could move there. It's a lot of movement. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, the uh, beat. You can still hit after that. Sec. Uh, yeah, I think you're cutting out. I think you are cutting oh, out. Oh, it's just a bit. bonus action. What are you? <laughs> I know. I, I, I said this over the break, what, what, right when we went off, but I was like, "What even are you?" As like, <laughs> what sort of mechanics <laughs> constructed literally this? <laughs> I realized I didn't put the thing down for my this stuff. So you can still attack uh, after that. 
which I don't understand. Uh, hold on, stand by. Mr. G is very confused. Oh. Give me a little roll. Was that an attack roll? Surprise round advantage? Yeah, surprise round advantage. Um, well, okay. would, she, would she get advantage for running out? Pretty far. <laughs> no, actually, I feel like I have a plus one to this. If I have to, just for like flavor purposes to get her in position, I can say I fired first to like draw attention. Okay, sorry about that. I'm get back. Punch him. All right. Sorry. So where that was I? Be... I was rolling initiatives. Would... Yes. Would she be in? A plus one. Okay. That would, would be a fourteen. Running out to punch that guy. Would she still have advantage for surprise? Uh, if it's during the surprise round. Okay. Cool, so I'd have advantage then. Yeah, you're doing this all in yeah, one turn. Use number. your bonus action to dash that far. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Dashing after this. So if this... If... This dude dies, I can just run up to this next dude. <laughs> so that's 29 to hit. That certainly hits. Roll your damage. Oh, no, wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, have you guys rolled your initiatives yet? I did. I rolled yeah, mine, that was, yes. That was what was terrible. yours? Mine is 23. Oh, I didn't roll initiative. Uh... She's still punching away. <laughs> that was supposed to be a plus six. So that's nine. Nine explosive. Okay, stand by. I'm going to get to that in a sec. Initiative. Still rolling like a million initiatives over here. <laughs> I think you would, even for a second attack, I think you would still get advantage on it. Uh, you would still have advantage, yeah, because it's it's the uh, surprise round. Even if it's a second attack. Mm -hmm. It's all the, yeah, all of it's happening pretty rapidly. So that's okay. 28. So 28 hits. Why is it again? Because that was the 15. The 15 was initiative. Oh, oh, that's initiative. All right. All right, it's only a plus five. So initiative 15 for Enyo. It's a better number. Okay, so catching up with you. So you just, so you pretty much just like kicked your gears into motion and zzz, ran down that catwalk and walked up and decked this guy a couple of times with the rapid robotic movements. Uh, so how much damage did you do in total to that gentleman? Uh, um... Twenty-four. Twenty-four, you say? The, the eight is supposed to be a nine. Yeah, the eight is supposed to be a nine. Gotcha. I believe that's twenty-four. 24 explosives. All right. So he hit that guy twice and just... Tsh, tsh, and he looks to be quite severely hurt, but he is just still standing. That's all I can do for now. All right, so that's the surprise round. And now it looks like things are kicking off. So... Hold on, let me finish setting myself up here. I go for it. There's a lot of people here who's all mm -hmm. gonna die very soon, so we'll make your job easier for you. But at this point, you hear over the uh, <laughs> over the uh, loudspeakers, just the intercom, just like going, "Launch codes accepted. Missiles launching in T minus one minute. One minute. Yeah. And you six, get on it. You see the." Uh, 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 bottom of the missiles start to warm up and light up as a bunch of uh, gas seems to start dispersing uh, around the bottom of them. So, that brings us to the first round of combat. And so, 
top of the round is going to be Mr. G, actually. Okay, good. I was going to say 23. Yeah, 23. Pretty <laughs> it's pretty darn good. Oh, also over the radio, I'm just going to uh, radio it and just be like, Miss X, Aiden's here. I don't know what that means, but cool. You need to read your, your dossiers. <laughs> I'm a little bit tall. Oh, I know that here. was my job. <laughs> All right, I'm going to. Uh, I'm not going to be able to take him out anytime soon. With uh, uh I'm not going to be able to take that other big guy out either. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start picking up the little dudes. All right, start picking people off. So you shooting for? Oh, I need to zoom out. I can't reach. Do what aim here to target anyone. Let me know. <laughs> Anybody but that guy. <laughs> uh, uh, where's the... F okay. I think I'm going to hit that dude there first. All right. And you don't have advantage on this attack. I do not. <sighs> and he's not in combat, so... I have a question. Mm-hmm. Would I have advantage if I attacked Aiden? <laughs> you would not have advantage, but you would be able to get sneak attack I mean, if you hit. Sneak attack. Sneak attack is what I meant. Yeah, uh -huh. that's true. Because uh, at this point, as everything's kicking off, you see Mr. Yu, you know, just pulls a handgun out of his suit. And he's just like, well, it looks like things are kicking off now. All right, I'm bolting around. I'm actually going to go for... Um... I'm gonna go for Aiden. All right. Because I would get sneak attack off it. Take your shot. Regular. Standard shot, I mean. All right. Right? Stay, uh, no advantage. But... No advantage, yes. Yeah. That cocked, but uh, uh, 16. Uh, that 16 doesn't hit. That does not lower. hit. All right. To fire again, Damn. and just just impacts against his armor, but doesn't seem to pierce through. I'm gonna use my bonus action to hide. Oh, I'm gonna spot. I'm gonna spot Aiden. Okay, so you bonus action spot Aiden. I'm, and I, I'm not gonna use my bonus action to hide. I'm just gonna take cover. <laughs> All right, so you move back into cover. You got a full cover there. So that's the end of your turn. Uh. Yes. And at this point, next up is going to be the man in black. So, Mr. Yu is just going to be like, or right, I'm going to start flanking them. And he splits off away from Aiden, who takes no attack of opportunity because he has no uh, lethal uh, intent towards him. And he starts moving, moving back this way, and he's actually... He was here. Let me measure his full movement. Ooh. Bonus action dash to get this far. And as he gets this far, he just turns back and just <laughs> takes a couple of shots at uh, one, uh, one of the uh, Majini back here. He's going to go for that one. So, he is going to quickly attack with his handgun. There's a natural yeah. 20, uh, oh. which he also has advantage on, but no need to roll that. <laughs> so, that's going to... Gets advantage. <laughs> that's going to <laughs> crit and sneak attack crit for 31 points of damage. So... He just takes a couple of shots and poof, 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 ah, and that lady goes down. Oh. And uh, that's all he could do on his turn. He's gonna keep. He's he's gonna keep moving. And at this point, Aiden kind of turns to him. He's just like, "I had a suspicion about you." And he's just like, "Yeah, sorry. What can I say? Just doing my job." And he takes off. So, Mister Yu's on the move. 
and looking down in your direction now. He has clear sight of you, Mr. G, taking cover. He's just like, took you long enough. Over the radio, I'm just going to be like, I've been here this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> So, he's on the move. Next up is going to be Enyo. Agency detected. <laughs> Activating haste mode. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> you know what I am now? Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Biological <laughs> <laughs> enhancement, haste. All right, so you activate your haste two, mode. We got two of them in here. So this is ridiculous. You've yeah, you've uh, you've doubled your speed. You got an extra right, action. First, I'm gonna punch this guy again. <laughs> <laughs> he seems uh, quite. Like one he he left, seems right? quite staggered from your last flurry of blows. Oh, no, I think he's got six health left. That hits. Well, if I need to roll damage, I'll roll it anyway. And that team explosive. finishes him off as you just, like, psh, splatter his head through with your fist. And, and yeah, um, he's... Well, can I make it... Hold on. If you move that far, that guy <laughs> would get an attack of opportunity against you right here. Eh... Yeah, I can take it. I'm going straight up to... I'm into it. Mm -hmm. Yes, please do that. My... The range is 5 to 80 feet. I can deal with that. I could just fire from here. You could. <laughs> I'm going to run and fire at the same time. <laughs> My Magnum and Aiden. All right. <laughs> Your second attack. Yeah. She gets three? Yeah, three total attacks if she uses all of them. 29 hits! So her yeah. arm just transforms and just... <laughs> just fires out as she's running across the platform. So roll your damage against Aiden. Easy. Well, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna have to stop rolling. I don't know. Does the plus two apply to damage as well? Yes. Yeah, if it's a plus two weapon, that applies to attack and damage rolls. Yeah! <laughs> oh <boy>. <laughs> 37 <laughs> points of whopping damage. That was That's almost two uh, max 12s. Yeah, man. So he just and takes the shot to his shoulder as he lunges back. It's a solid hit. Nice. Eh. No, yeah, she'll run straight up to Aiden. They may be up to... <laughs> Just punch that guy really quick. <laughs> like, technically, I'm still in an attack of opportunity then. Not here. Yeah, not yet. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to mag them in the cat. All right. Another attack roll for Aiden. Oh, man. Oh, that was, that was that so close. That no, was, this time oh he's a little gosh. bit more prepared and is able to maneuver out of the way. Yeah, Aiden's just like, oh, you know what, Mr. Whatever his name used to be? Turns out he's a traitor. Oh, sweet. We got a ro we got ro we got the robot on our side. Oh, crap. Now he's a traitor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, just everything is all the cards are falling down here. That is the end of her turn. End of her turn. Next up is going to be the Majini. They're all going to start taking their bow. So, got a bunch yeah, of them here. Uh, first off, this lady here is going to dash to be able to get there. This guy's also going to dash, and he's going to be right behind her. Um, these guys are going to start moving. They could... I'll pretty much get there. This guy's gonna sort of stand by and ready himself. And this guy's gonna dash to get over here. And they're all start, uh, actually, 
How much movement did he just use? I think it was 40? 40. Yeah, so he has enough room to start maneuvering around. Uh, he's going to position himself right there. Uh, no, it's just enough. So. Oh, no, she's burb quickly, but uh, she's about to eat a bunch of yeah. attacks. Uh, so I'll first accumulate the damage. Yeah. Well, I don't know what her AC is, though. I don't know if she's oh, gotten hit right. yet. No, she hasn't taken an attack. But these guys are all going to start lunging at her with various, you know, mechanics tools and uh, uh, sort of crowbars and wrenches that they have been working with. Uh, so that is going to be five attacks against her. So that's a 23, a 13, a 13. Natural one. That's not going to hit. <laughs> And a 12. I so, don't think the 13s and the 12 are going to hit. <laughs> I do not think so either. I'm certain the 23 will, though. Almost yeah. So, like, Actually, no, yeah. she has a plus two bonus to AC with the uh, haste, though, as well. So let me think. So definitely. She, she will have to have a one mobility to not get hit with a, uh, to get hit with a 13. She has to have a zero mobility to get hit with a 13. No, I'll say... Uh, yeah. So we'll say probably one of them, um, at least one of them hits, or yeah. assume one of them hits. So we'll reserve six points of bludgeoning damage against her uh, for the turn. Okay. And that's all she takes. Uh, next up, the Gatling Man is up. Oh jeez. And uh, he doesn't he doesn't like this whole situation, and. Uh, You know, he's... He also doesn't have a whole lot of options. He kind of does, you know. Just a handful of things, really. So... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm talking about the person that. that is the Gatling man. Uh, you know, not not stat block-wise, but just, like, mentally. He's just like, uh, bad guys. And he starts moving. <laughs> uh, I feel that. I feel that guy. I do I, I do one thing. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're in full cover. I am. But Mr. Yu is not. Well, actually, how does that line draw? No, yeah, he's actually got full cover kind of as well. For, oh yeah, uh, that I'll call that. Right I'll call there. that kind of. That's like half cover. With, with, a, with a Gatling gun, everything's half cover. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I'll give him some cover. But the Gatling man is going to attempt to spray at him as he just starts revving up his gun and mm, pfft, starts blasting. Has a 20 to hit. How come when it's cocked like that, he gets the high number and I get the low number? <laughs> so that certainly hits him. Uh, and he is going to take... I'm going to roll for Gatling, man. 30 points of piercing damage, but he's going to use his... Actually, yeah, he gets uncanny dodge. He's going to use his uncanny dodge to, to have that. <laughs> to 15. So all of those sh shots start blazing towards him as uh, he kind of attempts to maneuver and dodge out of the way. And that is going to be the big Gatling man's turn. Next up is going to be Aiden. And uh, he's just like, yeah, like you said, he's all frustrated and bamboozled with this whole situation. He's just like, all right. Everyone's gone rogue. I guess there's only one thing to do about that. And you Go see... Rogue? <laughs> <laughs> you see his eyes start glowing red as he just lets out a feral just... Rah! And he maneuvers over here. He's activated his Crimson Rush, and he is going to... Uh, unload his assault rifle against the robot to try and clear her out of the way. So that's going to be first attack is a 25, 24, or rather, I didn't need that third attack. He only has two attacks. Uh, he doesn't get a third attack with Crimson Rush? No, he does not. 
Uh, and I think both of those hit, so I'm just gonna roll damage on both of them. I, I would assume. I <laughs> As he unloads and just... So that's 18 and 15 points of damage against that Enya. That is 33 plus six. 33 piercing? Mm-hmm. And that is going to be the end of his turn. So back up to the top of the round is going to be Mr. G. Hold up. Yeah, I'm okay. back. Okay. Okay, that's what that's what damage you've taken so far. Thirty three piercing and six bludgeon. What's your AC at, by the way? What's your <laughs> yeah? AC is twenty. With including oh, the haste geez. bonus. Uh, twenty two with the haste bonus. Oh my gosh! Hold I think on. everything's the the, yeah. Hit? The other one still hit, so it was twenty three. It was okay. just above. So uh, yeah, so we were right on the on the hits. So yeah, you've taken that much damage so far. Good. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get up from prone. <laughs> I'm going to uh, bonus action dash. All right. So I can move 15 feet here and then another 30 feet, which is 45 feet, right? So I can get there. Right. Uh, but while I'm here, uh, which is at 40 feet, I'm going to chuck a flash grenade right there. You can't throw it that far. It's 30 foot range. Back there, I mean. No, right there. It's 30 feet. What's the range of? On a flash grenade. 30 feet? I thought, yeah, it was 60. For, I thought it was 60. Not to throw with uh, grenades is 30 foot range. I was assuming 30 or 60 this whole time. Why don't I double it? So I'm just going to fire from here. All right. Uh, Who's your target? I'm trying to figure that out. You got a lot of targets now. <laughs> a lot of people are engaged. Uh, are any of these people are surrounding Enyo injured? Uh, none of them have taken any damage so far, so they do seem to be in pretty mint condition. Okay. I'm going to pop that dude right there. All right. Make your attack. Hold up. Actually, I should just... Um. Yes, I think that's right. Twenty-six hits. Twenty-six. That's a headshot. I should have. <laughs> oh, is that headshot bonus? Uh, the plus nine. Yes. Okay. Should've, I should have hit. Freaking. Oh yeah, Aiden spotted. Aiden. Right. Let me uh, put a thing on him. You want to boop him? Yeah. What looks spotted? Put that target there. That target looking thing. Yeah. So roll your sneak attack damage. And I have sneak attack because mm -hmm, uh, they're engaged. Yep. It's 59. No, yeah. So that guy is just like, psh, take him out with a headshot. Head blows clean off, pretty much. And then finish my fashion. movement to, to uh, get cover there again. All right. That's the I end of Mr. G's action to dash, so yeah, that's everything. Mm -hmm. So next up is going to be Mr. Yu. He is still on the run. He just like, first off, he catches up with you, ten feet of movement, and Can he I just five? yeah takes cover, high five, and just like, <laughs> oh, it's about time you showed up. Yeah, these guys are out for blood, and there's a lot of personnel on here. The whole place is going to be coming down any minute now. We need to get out of here. And he pulls out out of his pocket, like basically what looks like a sort of hard disk type of drive mm -hmm. and he's just like holding this up he's just like this is everything we need everything is on here this is all the manifold intel I could get a hold of and I hacked a pretty big treasure hoard okay I'll put it in my treasure pouch I'm holding on to <laughs> it for now he, he, he takes a uh, retracts his hand he's just like I'm holding on to it for now but we need to get out of here you have a, you have a way out 
Yeah, we have a we have a submersible on the this end of the ship. All right, can we get there from and the yo, deck? What's the back end of a ship? <laughs> Lord, I still have the tab open. <laughs> he continues with you though. It's like, can we get get there from here? Yes. Where? Uh, door in the back. Back of the boat is called the stern. By the stern of the ship. Cargo room. Oh, the cargo room. This floor? Yeah. Oh, this is even better than I thought. All right. See you there. And he is going to bonus action dash uh, the, rest of the, the rest of the way. He'd use 10 movement to get there. So... Got another Plus another feet. five movement for our uh, secret handshake. <laughs> no. <laughs> In fact, I'll say all that conversation, that was quite a bit. That was probably his action right there. So he only gets that far. Mm -hmm. But he's on his way. He's running for it. Uh, that Conveying information is, a, is an action. That much information <laughs> for sure. But he has yeah. he has shown you the, the goober. So <laughs> he is taking off. Uh, that's Mr. U's turn. Enyo, you're back up. Seeing that she's surrounded, she, uh, she switches to shop god mode. Alright. Shop <laughs> god mode initiated. <laughs> oh, I love it so yeah, much. She starts blasting. <laughs> she starts blasting these people. <laughs> so she starts blasting. So which one are you going for? Let's start with this one over here. Alright. Advantage as well. You do have advantage because of the proximity with that shoddy. <laughs> the 20 on both. Double numbers. Hits either way. And then that was wonderful. Pretty cool. Well, cool. pretty cool. Going to roll that. Oh. Uh. So added on that would be five. Yeah, six, plus your mods. Plus six. Plus six. So that's seventeen points of damage towards him. Uh. So you just like. And put a shot through his chest, and he just like bounces against the wall. Uh, he seems quite hurt, but he's still going. Okay. And then she's gonna go middle one, blast this one. And that 20 would be nice. <laughs> really nice. It would be. 25. Still hits. Then... 23 points of damage. Alright, again, another shot. <laughs> and he shoots back, but... Also still up and at him. But both quite, quite hurt. And she switches to this. I think you're cutting out a bit. Um, if it. Five, seven, eight. Ten. That's another ten. Middle one again. What happened? Attacking the same guy? Oh, uh, yeah, middle one. Okay. So 21 hits. This is with fists. Okay, so this is an unarmed strike. Uh, that, right. that definitely yeah. hits. Attain explosive. And just like, with, as you just follow up, switch your hand back into a fist and just... Pfft, you just compress his head against uh, the metal exterior wall mm -hmm. and he's out. This action conserved combat. Oh, conserved combat. 
So you, oh, man, you oh, could get uh, <laughs> you could get a fourth attack with that. Yeah, if that was your hasted action, then this is yeah, I can serve combat bonus action. You can make another attack. Nineteen hits. That's on the guy who hit the four. Mhm. Mm oh, I'll kill him. I'll kill him. Of an explosive. Oh, okay, you just like psh, you crack him with the right hook, <laughs> uh, but. He looks punch drunk and dazed, but he just sort of oh, just like growls at you with his mandibles out. He is barely holding on by a thread, but he is fighting to the bitter end. Uh, and that is the end of her turn. All right, stay in put. Next up is going to be uh, all of the Majini crew. So they are going to, again, the ones that are uh, surrounded on uh, Enyo, uh, are going to start putting in some attacks. So they are going to start, again, hitting at you with their tools. Uh, there's going to be... Well, this guy could actually move up at this point. And there's going to be four attacks against you. Miss? Miss? Yeah, that third one's a hit. That. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and a miss. Miss. Alright, uh, so only one of those misses. hits, you take six points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, and that is going to be the end of their run. Um, next up is going to be the Gatling Man. And, uh, at this point, he has, has a pretty clear shot. Um, he is actually going to, at this point, start winding up his Gatling gun. And he is just going to spray in a 100-foot line in that direction. Uh, and Mr. You needs to make a mobility save. Oh, wow. Which he succeeds, so he takes half of this damage. This guy's only been dealing half damage against him. Yeah. So that's uh, 18 Maybe. points of damage he, against him. Can he dodge that? It's a new, new no, round? I think uh, dodging is for attacks only. Only for attacks? I thought it was any damage. No, I think it has to be an attack, but you could double check the wording on that for me. Yeah, let me do it really quick. I have that written down here. Yeah, hits you with an attack. Yeah, yeah. So he's getting lit up, and that entire area you just see just sparks flying off of the walls as these tracer rounds streak across uh, the space between them. And as this is all going on, you just still those bulkhead doors above are just opening up to the sky, and the missiles are still you hear their engines kind of powering up, or rather their uh, their fuel, and they are closing in on launching but that is going to be the end of his turn uh as he just like basically mounts his gatling gun onto the railing and starts <laughs> opening fire next up is going to be aiden and uh aiden is actually taking note of this as well uh and he is going to turn his attention in that direction just like sees Mr. Yu running across and he's just like don't let him get away and he kind of uh, says this in full hearing of everyone around him as well he's just like points over in that direction he's just like take all of them out especially the traitor he could be carrying intel and he is going to start opening fire on Mr. Yu I just realized mm hmm I had, I had advantage on some of those earlier attacks. Did you? Yeah. Where the, oh, where from? Uh, optimal range with my rifle. Oh, was it within your optimal range? Yeah. Oh, snap. That's okay. Uh, yeah, so he's going to make a couple of attacks with his M4 against Mr. Yu, which hits and hits. So he takes. Mr. Yu, where's your AC? 
24 points of damage. And actually, he takes 24 points of damage. And he goes down. Uh, as just like, he just gets lit up uh, from the, at the side from Aiden's fire. He's just like, and just has a clear line of sight. Um, he's a pretty significant NPC. I'll say he gets to go down. But he also, let me actually roll again with disadvantage after he goes down. Yep, still hits. So he also fails uh, death save. For an attack? Mm-hmm. That's two? No, because crits are only if they're within five feet of them. So he uh. fails one death save. So I'll just... I'll just use one of those. <laughs> Throw one of those on him. He's failed one death save. Uh, that is going to be the end of Aiden's turn. And as he, he kind of shouts out to the rest of them, just like, don't let them get away. Back up to the top of the round is going to be Mr. G. All right. Uh, that looks like I'm going to have to keep some of my action economy here. I am going to... Let's see here. This is okay. I got. I, I can do a couple of things, but it looks like I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down. Bonus action dash to get to at least here. So that's thirty-five. Carrying somebody. I also forgot is... to move these guys over here on the last Majin stern. So which way are they heading? Uh, they would have been heading in this direction. Uh, and so I'll just say they got up to here um, and got to take opportunity attacks against you as you left. There would be one square up. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. So let me just make a couple of opportunity attacks against you. Well, yeah, I think one of them would have an, uh, that's an, would have an attack too. Yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about. These are their attacks. Oh, I thought, I thought opportunity attacks. Yes, opportunity attacks. No, she would also get a regular attack. She would have, but we're not going to retcon that far. So I'll say Got we'll it. retcon the movement moved in. Oh, yeah, that's true. What are you doing? Oh, 18 does not hit. Oh, so neither of those hit. Yeah, 18 does not hit. Um, all right, so I'm going to bonus action disengage. And then action uh, dash to get to here. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, dragging somebody is half movement, yeah? Yes, yeah. You could grapple a willing uh, target and drag them for at half of your movement speed. You have, what, 15 feet remaining? No, 25 feet remaining. Uh, no, 25 feet. So we'll have that uh, uh, 10 feet then. 10 feet to there? Mm -hmm. Is how far you could drag him. Where's that hard drive? It's just like, uh, uh, my inner jacket pocket. <laughs> Grab it. And he's just like, uh, make sure that gets out. These guys are up to some nasty business. The whole world is at stake. What about you, dude? Are you, are you gonna make it out of this? Yeah, if you could give me a hand, maybe. All right. I'm going to use 25 feet to get here. All right. And I'm just going to, like, he's like, if, he's like, if you can give me a hand, I'm like, nah. Yeah, sorry, bud. And I'm just going to run right over him. And he just watches you run away, and it's just like... You see, like, this resign in his eyes. Uh, that's the end of my uh, turn. I have no more movement. All right. So you could add the uh, manifold hard drive to your inventory. Treasure pouch. Just kind of, <laughs> like, stick that under some dollar bills. Uh, next up, he needs to make a death save. But she succeeds one. Yay. Pretty good. 
I'll give him a green. <laughs> that last turn, that last turn. <laughs> that's, that's nice. That last turn, I would have put my rifle away too. Gotcha. Uh, next up is going to be Enyo. We're still in the thick of oh, it over finish, there. Finish messing these guys up. I want to see you kill everyone. <laughs> And I try. Um. Uh, what are you doing? Wanna go for. Stay here. Alright. Is this an unarmed strike? No, this is shotgun. Oh, shotgun. Gotcha. Oh, well, that's an at 20. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> what is that, like, 40, 12? Yeah, is that ridiculous? So. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You just <laughs> blast him and just <laughs> splatter him across uh, the floor here. <laughs> and he is down for the count. I like, like, while she's fighting, she's got, like, this entire fighting style revolved around her arms coming together and just, like, blasting people. Yeah, just, like, <laughs> she's just, like, transforming at every movement. Like, how do I use a two-handed weapon? I know! <laughs> <laughs> the shot's on this guy here. All right. Twenty-seven certainly hits. Take him out. Close. Close. Twenty-three points of damage brings him down pretty weak, and you just like, pfft, pfft, uh, just. Rock a shot into his chest, and he just gets stuttered for a sec as the splatter of blood goes out from him. He's still functional. Fisticuff. All right, fisticuffs. Yeah, those were your two attacks, so you still have bonus action fisticuffs and hasted action as well. Against the same target, that hits. Yeah. And actually, I think your minimum here would kill him, yeah. So you take him out with another punch and just whoosh, with a solid mechanical arm swiping across him. He just... She ding, almost did. Swipes. Almost did minimum damage. Yeah, almost. Then I'm going to conserve, <laughs> then I'm gonna cons conserve combat. Actually, okay. This is ridiculous. Wait, actually, actually. <laughs> can I... This is funny. Oh, I don't think it would do anything. Never mind. No, conserve combat, the one over there. Alright. Eighteen hits. It's to be dead now. I like how No, actually, yeah, that guy that guy is mega dead. You messed roughed him up pretty good yeah. earlier, so he's just like another one against the wall, just <clears throat> just making dents into that metal on a metal wall on the exterior with these guys lined up against it. I like how this they surround like blood her. Blood splattered everywhere. No, yeah, she. You just see her go go in there and activate instant kill mode. <laughs> I, I was saying, I like how she they surrounded her and she just turned into a blender. Yeah, just like <laughs> and just like attacking in every which direction. And that's the end of her turn. Well, so, those exes tell a story. <laughs> yeah. Still staying put. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, actually. Uh, Mr. G will yell out, like, Enyo, disengage! Alright, as you're moving away. <laughs> yeah. So, that's the end of Enyo's turn. Next up, the Mini Magini are going to take their go. Uh, the one that's still on Enyo is going to keep dogging her, and he's going to <laughs> make an attack with his blunt instrument. 14 doesn't hit. These two are going to continue giving chase. 
They're going to... This guy's going to dash up here. And the other one is going to dash and still have 10 feet of movement left. And get to over here. Uh, but neither of them can do anything. But that's as far as they ah. get. It's still uh, annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is going to be the Gatling Majini. Uh, oh, hold on. He does not get his spray back. Uh, and he is going to... At this point, seeing things are pretty much wrapping up with the spy that had infiltrated their ranks. You feet. are just in his range. So and this is not the line, right? Or is this the line? Yeah, that's Please the tell line. me this is the line. That's the line. Okay, good. Well, but but I like I said, he didn't recharge that ability, so he's just making no, that, an attack against I mean. you. So it's not okay. It's just an attack. It's not the. Uh -huh. Yeah, if it was the line, he would yeah. have to shoot for her. But uh, he's going to make a straight yeah. attack against you. That sucks. 21. Yes. You take 30 points of piercing damage. And I do a corkscrew and have it. All right, 15 points of piercing damage to you. As he's just still leaning up on the rail, just like... And pretty much just being a swivel turret on that platform. <laughs> That's going to be the end of his turn. Next up, the beast is going to turn on Enyo and go alright this thing is clearly defective and it's wasting our time let's finish this and he is going to he is going to actually let me see how many attacks he's for. yeah he still has some ammo uh, yet with his AR so he's going to take a couple more shots with his attack. It's going to be a 23 and a 30, which deals. Does 23 just hit? Yeah, I think she's at 22 AC. I'm at 22 AC. Uh -huh. So 23 and 19 points of piercing damage. So that's a total of 42 points of piercing to you. As he just like turns on you, just and just starts firing full right with his AR. And then he's going to close the gap here. <laughs> he's going to close the gap here after just like and just sparking off of your armor plating. Uh, and he is going to use an action surge to take a couple of unarmed attacks against you as he swivels his rifle off to the side. just like, rawr, 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 and goes for some wide hooks. Uh, so that is going to be... Man, I want, to, I want to see like a full-on fight between these two. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. No, I don't think so. <laughs> 20 misses. Yes, like yes doesn't hit. 19 also yeah. misses. Both yeah. his action surge attacks <laughs> miss. It's just like, he just goes in with a, a sort of just like enraged sort of forward momentum boxing stance and just like, tush, tush, but you block both of his strikes deftly with your extreme reaction timing and do not take any more damage from him. That is going to be the end of Aiden's turn. He's set there. Uh, yeah, back up to the top of the round is going to be Mr. G. This Majini up here. Which one? Does he does he look like he's gonna attack? Yeah, he looks like he's there to finish off the target. Alright, I'm just gonna like like give a salute to old Mr. Yu and just be like, I'll see you in Valhalla, my friend. And I'm gonna disengage. <laughs> Alright, you're out of the room. If you so choose. I'm going to I'm going to uh, action dash Ah uh, wait, hold on. Okay, I don't have a shot against him. I was like, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna action dash and start heading back down the halls. Start heading back down the halls. All right, uh, uh, I'm going to call up to Miss X and say, uh, 
head for the exfil. All right, and you hear just like some like background gunfire over the, the comms, and she's just like, "Yeah, already on it." You know, actually, you know what I'm gonna do after I get into this door, I'm just gonna just smash the button. Oh, the alarm button. Yeah. Yeah, and just like, ur, ur, ur. and now the alarms are not just going off within this single chamber. And everything is loud, and there are flashing lights all over the place. Yeah. And in the confusion, just gonna start running. All right. So, Mr. G is out. Uh, next. I'm also gonna go over, stay over the comms. It's like, and it was a great distraction. That's another save for Mr. Yu afterwards, which he actually succeeds. That's good. That's good for him. That's good for him. I'm giving him a blue. <laughs> It's another two pleasant colors, one bad color. Uh, so he's got two successes and a fail. But next up, the Majini are going to take their turn. And this one standing over him is going to make its attack with advantage. Which is going to hit. And that's actually going to be a critical hit, which will finish him off. As this Majini here just like takes his crowbar, looking down at him. It's just like... And just keeps beating him down until he's dead. And that... It's the last that is seen of Mr. Yu. A warrior's death. And... Uh, this other Majini is going to... Chase after you, but not going to be able to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> um... I, like, I'm, I, I, at some point, I'm just, like literally going to turn around and just like shoot off a couple rounds at her. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think I might have skipped a turn I'm there, because... Wait, wait, Enyo... Yeah, Enyo... I think I might have skipped her turn, because she's supposed to come before the Majini. Oh, okay. So, Enyo, your turn that's is... That still would have happened. Yeah, that still would have happened, because that's off somewhere else, but it's your turn, Enyo. <laughs> yeah. So he wouldn't be dead yet. Almost. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, just mid, the swing is in midair at this point in time. I, I don't have a way of healing. I don't have a way of healing him anyway. Um, Miss X does. I mean, true, but she's gone. Huh? Yep. I'm gonna use my haste action to disengage. All right. Just like. Critical condition. <laughs> Caution. Advisory. Must disengage. She's heading down here. Alright. We make it about this far. But she will take a shot. She will use her action. Take a shot at... Okay. Uh, uh, Aiden. All right. Well, the uh, yeah, the one Majini is going to make an opportunity attack against you just in case. That's a nineteen to hit. Disengage. Oh right, she did disengage. I forgot you mentioned that. Um, so yeah, you're taking, you're getting that far and taking a shot. Try against Aiden. <gasps> Twenty-four hits. That's close. Okay. <laughs> I think his AC is similar this to yours. Is my mag and I think that's a plus seven. Oh, yeah. That's 29 points of piercing. Uh, the... With the magnum? The magnum. And another extra attack. I think that's all he's gotten hit by. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I he's hit been. I hit before as well. With the magnum? Yeah, I hit it with the magnum before as well. That's what I'm saying. I think that's all he's gotten hit yeah, by. Yeah, he's, only, been, he's oh. only eaten magnum so far. Yeah, uh, like that's the, that's at the this worst point, one. So it's 29 points of piercing damage. That uh, um, as you, the as the bullet impacts against him, he's just like, Pshh! and he shoots back. But he seems to be ignoring the pain pretty well in this crimson rage that he is in. Uh, he does not seem to take as much damage as he would expect. Nice. So I can go down to six. Yeah, you've got 60 so feet of hasted movement. movement. So you can get there. Uh, use her extra attack on this guy. Alright. <laughs> we already, already got a magnum out, so... That's true. 
That's true. See? <laughs> 16 hits. 16? Mm hmm. Oh, one. Oh, Oof. So you. And he takes a shot to the back and stutters for a moment, um, but he is still up. Thank you. Oh, well, use your okay. action. Use your hasted action. Well, and then so sixty feet is just a regular movement because it's doubled. Yeah, yeah. Right now in haste mode, your sixty feet is just a regular movement. That means that means my dash is hundred and twenty. Yeah, your dash. If you yeah, if you used phantom yeah. dash, you would get hundred and twenty feet of movement. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so you could just like you could just be gone. Uh, all right. <laughs> I, I was, uh, so you can actually catch I, I'm back up with Mr. D, right, on on this turn. I, wait, so that's 120, so that's 60 feet normal movement and 120 on your phantom? It's actually 120 dash. I'm like, I, I, like, Mr. G is running as fast as he can. He's like, Enya was a good distraction. Zoom. The fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so is that what you're gonna do? You're just gonna bonus action and get out of dodge? Cause like it's, I think, I think at, at this moment I'm fifty feet off in the off screen. Yeah, she would be able to catch up with you. She would be able to catch up with you. As you're going by, I would say I after just... taking that shot, that guy doesn't. And with how fast you're going, that guy doesn't even get an opportunity to attack. You're just gone by the time he even realized something happened. Uh, yeah, he's like, oh, I got shot. And with that. <laughs> As his turn comes up afterwards, he finishes off Mr. Yu as you hear the banging sounds coming, echoing from behind as you Wait. exit out that door and make your way to I catch was... up with Mr. G. I was going to say, technically, she would also get an opportunity attack because she's somewhere behind me. But I would say you're all actually. So she wouldn't have gotten one anyways. Oh, that's true. You That disengage lasts the whole turn. Uh, so that's, that's true. But, either way, she escapes That's down the tunnel. What, what kind of movement speed is that? Mr. <laughs> robots. Mr. G, she catches back up with you and just seems to be following along. The one Majini tries Sparks to keep up. Yeah, tries to keep up with you guys, but you guys just are easily able to outpace down the hallway, winding, maneuvering back down to that mm -hmm. storage room. And you find there, if you look out the porthole window from which you first entered, you would see um, Mrs. X already waiting on top of the submersible, which is surfaced below you. All right. I'm going to uh, rappel down with uh, from whatever we've attached previously. Mm -hmm. The rope up. situation that you had set up, you let yourself down from that. Is Enyo following along? They wanted to follow along? Get in, loser. <laughs> Do not call me a loser. All right, listen. You survived. That doesn't make you special. <laughs> does not make you special either. Yes, I know that. Let's go. Come on, hurry up. We gotta get going. So she goes, she goes along. Get in the get in the loser boat. <laughs> you lower yourselves into the submersible. Close the hatch on top disengage the magnetic lock and submerge below the water and start going away from the USS Valerian. You have secured the manifold hard drive, a treasure trove of data, as Mr. Yu had promised, that he gave his life to secure. Now, you just need to find a place to read it. But, as you are departing from that ship and as you are still quite close to the surface having just barely submerged you do see bright lights above you above the waters you're looking out the windshields or in this case the water shields <laughs> the <laughs> you would see above the waters just the blurred sort of outline of light that raises above the ship as Three intercontinental ballistic missiles launch 
from the USS Valerian. But you have what you came for, and you depart. Start making your way back across the Pacific. And that is where we're going to leave this group for now. So. Nah, great. In the not, middle of the ocean. <laughs> so that was... That was the last episode of the year. <laughs> I guess I was. Oh. Uh, well, thank you all very much for playing. Thank you, everybody who may have been watching. The, as usual, the VOD will be going up come Monday, but we will be taking a mm -hmm. two-week hiatus over Christmas and New Year's. So we'll be back in early January with Chauncey and company. So. One week hiatus? Back on the second week, right? Yes. But okay, yeah, yeah, two weeks of downtime. But yeah, they're, we're only missing one episode, essentially, or one week. Um, so yeah, we'll be back come early January to continue the final story arc, which has now officially kicked off. To oh, Kicked off? You freaking launched missiles everywhere. Launched missiles, brought back Aiden, brought in robots. <laughs> Things are off to <laughs> a quick start. Yeah. Androids now. Mm -hmm. Freaking androids! What's wrong? What's up with what's up with androids? You know what really grinds my gears? Androids with 180 feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or 120 Actually, feet in that case. Well, 120 feet plus a oh yeah, plus, that's a, true, 60 plus a 60. That is the, that is a if full turn. If she decides to dash, is that another 120 or is that just regular 60? Uh, I think with Phantom Dash, it affects all of your dashes. I think is the way it's worded. That's so, gone. yeah, that would be another 120. So, yeah, that's a it's a <laughs> it's a pretty it's a pretty great build. But we'll Man, see. Phantom Dash is stupid. I hate Wesker. Why do you have to do that, Wesker? Why do you have to make that available to people? That's awesome. <laughs> well, man, I was very curious how a lot of that was going to go down, but that was I'm also not going to lie. I totally was just like, I'm just gonna leave that bot for for dead. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I have no doubt that was Mr. Beast really mentality. Me. She passed me. I was like, what is this? <laughs> like you said, she's like I'm a she's like a puppy. Dead. <laughs> yeah, she just shows up. I'm just like, I thought I I thought I abandoned you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't oh, get man. rid of me, Mr. G. <laughs> Mr. G is an awful person. <laughs> Mr. G is just like, no, I'm great enough to buy dog food. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, can make sure she's well oiled and all that. <laughs> it's a lot of maintenance. <laughs> but That's a lot of damage in that fight. Yeah, I, dude, that you took a lot of hits. Like, what is? I'll, I'll ask all this, all this other mechanical questions afterwards. Oh yeah, <laughs> but anyway, that brings this session to a close. And Operation Moby Dick is, well, at least for its objective, successful. So we will be back in a couple of weeks with Chauncey and company visiting BSAA headquarters to give a little tease of what's to come. So, until then, we'll see you all later. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And peace. Squared. Have a good night. God bless. Good night and sweet dreams all the good things. Merry Christmas. <laughs>